sub and maybe I'll start to you, bitch. I'm a little piggy. Oink, oink. Hi, Volky. Volky 
Yeah, just get a 4090, I suppose. I'm pretty sure that's what I have. I say just get it, but it's still probably expensive. What you could do is wait until the like 5000 series comes out or whatever, the 50 series, and then uh, hopefully all the ones behind it will become cheaper. <coughs> Whoa, my throat just dried out suddenly. Oh fuck, GeForce Game Ready drivers available. <coughs> ah, it's like a desert up here. What the hell? Oh, here, coughing up a lung. I got a hairball or something. I was like licking airy too much. Whatever attacks what me, I'll just pull out my grass crest shield. Oh, don't, I'm allergic to it. Stop it. Fitty, you say? Is that what it is? Isn't that like coming out soon? I thought someone announced that there was like the 5000 series or 50 series or whatever it is. The 6090 win. Woo! Just got a $2,000 graphics card, Lamel. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. I live, I die, I live again, I write shiny and chrome. Hey, what's up, not a player? Guess who got banned yesterday and then got unbanned, summarily unexecuted, had reattached to the spine by Twitch. It's not a player, unkillable. Truly unkillable. Woo! He was posting his ban appeal in fucking uh, the Discord and I was sitting there going, oh my God, this guy is a two time back to back unbanned like entity. He got his appeal accepted twice, and it was a mistake on Twitch's part both times. Not even a reduction. He's free, bro. Not a player's fucking free. I have no idea how their ban appeals work. Clearly, it's just uh, truthful, really. He just kills it. That shit is awesome. The tea time champion. Congratulations. <sighs> Why can't I get banned? What the fuck am I doing right? I'm sorry, Sanket. Unfortunate. I hope that one day you can finally experience the bliss of non-existent oblivion. Ideally so. God, don't even say that, Grifster. The thought of Mango getting Yo, can banned I get is some literally of that? horrible. Don't even like put that in my fucking head, bro. Yo, can I get some of that? Yeah, sure. Thanks for the five bucks. Hey, they're seriously fucking up big time. Yeah, they seem to be making lots of mistakes recently. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. They're not the only ones, right? <laughs> what happened to the train? Oh, what the fuck? I didn't even realize it was about to end. It just started. Dude, this is the problem with becoming an old, like, ancient entity, pharaoh-like and dusty, grimacing. Time moves by so quickly, the four minutes on the hype train, it passed almost instantaneously. I don't even remember it starting. Son of a bitch. Oh, well. Hi, Rayfix. What's up, you little crumbster? Hi, McQuackqua. Do not call him the two-time. I guess that's kind of been ruined forever now, huh? Kind of like, ooh. Yeah, I guess you can't call people that anymore without having a very negative connotation. Hopefully he doesn't fall off to the other two time. God, I hope not. Ugh, gross. You see that other shit that came out about him like uh, hitting up that uh, trans sex worker and then he was like, I'm gripping my thing. <laughs> Firm grips all around. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Did Jairus make it past Lazzy and broadcast? I don't know, Grifster. I don't know what the, what the case was today with that. Hopefully. Chasers be chasing? Damn straight. Or, well, I guess not, actually. <laughs> it's not surprising. It is disappointing. Ay, caramba. J and Z made it to the next round in the OTK thing. Oh, awesome. Okay, so this round was the initial first round, right? That I believe both Broadcast and Lazzy made it past as well. The one where Lazzy, like, blew it out of the water and he was, like, the number one most favorited. This is the second round. Oh, really? So it's even further then, right? So are they going, like, what's the third round then? I thought it was videos. Did they do like a live skit today or something? They're top 10. They're top 10? It's battle to the death next round. They did a live bit today and both got through. Damn, that's awesome. I am casting spells. Lots of them here with Nightmare of Soul. Wow. Yeah, they killed it. Dude, that's sick. What the hell? Oh my gosh, that's fucking awesome. j Rose and fucking Zizix, man, making it to the top 10. Is it actually a top 10 or did someone just lie to me and say that? I didn't watch. I was outside making spaghetti, which sounds weird, but I'll explain the context. Next is the third round of pandering. I guess so. It is a top 10. Wow, that's fucking awesome. Oh my God. What the fuck? That's super sick. Damn, dude. Can you imagine if one of... The okay, that means that there's a... 20% chance that someone we know wins $50,000, right? That's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. Oh my God. Good for Jay and Zizix. That's fucking sick as hell. Holy moly. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's so cool. Well, good luck to them. I hope that they win. Collab for next round. I don't know how it's going to work. Collab? Collab? 
Collab? Why did you ask Golly to draw you gawking, Miz? You know the lore if you watched yesterday's stream. Or was it the day before? It was somewhere in the last, like, two days that that lore happened. But it was all on stream. So unless you're willing to go through the VOD, I won't re-explain it. <laughs> that shit was hot. Oh, God. I'm not normally the gawker. That's a very rare position for me to be in. I can't believe I said gawker. Oh, my God. I'm just becoming a woman. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, yeah, but still. <laughs> Exclamation point incest. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Well, congrats to Zizix and uh, j -Rose. That's actually fucking awesome. Holy shit, can you imagine? Dude, that'd be crazy if they won. Oh, that's so cool. Hopefully, they make it all the way. A top 10 is, like, super impressive. Now, all they got to do is beat out eight other competitors for the win. Or is this the win, or is it, like, one of the phases, right? Has anyone... I, I guess I don't understand the format of it. <laughs> is this, like, a phase and, uh, the like... Didn't Lazzy say something? There's like four phases that you can join in. Anyone else want to fuck? Isn't he Rose a millionaire? What does he need Fiftic for Elmo? He doesn't need it. He's just looking for the clout. And good for him. Hope he gets it. Thank you for the five dollars, Elmal. <laughs> Elmal. Yeah, I don't know either. Crump shrugged to that. Fuck it. I'm crump shrugging right now. I don't even know where I am, partner. <laughs> uh, I was uncertain and stopped watching after they dropped Lazzy. All CDs, you're so based, honestly. But uh, yeah, it was a fun night. I had that date with Ullman yesterday. Hopefully that was a fun watch. Shout out Vor for being super fun to RP with and adding that extra flavor to the first half of the date. Second half, totally my bad. I definitely scared the shit out of Ullman. That's my bad, whoopsie. It was really fun though. Hopefully there were some good clips. I thought it was really fun. Uh, ideally it was enjoyable for you little homos as well. Vor and Ulma carried hard, okay? like. I think I'm okay too. Oh, I relax. I think I'm pretty hot when I'm in full body. Okay. Totally didn't mean to, Kappa. Whatever, Abzi. I did like to scare her though. It was really fun. I missed the first 15 minutes. I'm sorry, Nay. Has it really been 15 already? Oh my God. Wow. Time really moves quickly, huh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hi, Gonorrhea. What's up, dude? I can't believe you broke her eye. Yeah, I did punch Almond in the back of the head and fracked her occipital lobe. That was pretty fucked up of me. I can't believe I did that. Totally would do it again though. That was awesome. Super fun. Glad we knocked out a wonderful date with Alma. Oh my gosh, she's so fun. I love that girl so, so much. She's just, she's just amazing. Bum -ba -dum -bum. I'm sorry, I was marking something off in my my sub goal spreadsheet so that I, I the almond yeah, pick I went to sleep before the date. Did you remember to use some of my phone trivia? I did actually. <laughs> I because I have all my donations logged, like I can just quickly bring it up because of the TTS Labs thing. Uh, everything you said was just in my recents, so I just brought it up on my XS overlay, and I was just like bringing out F1 trivia to Ullman the entire date. And I, well, it wasn't the entire date. It was specifically the section where I took her to the F1 like race area, and she loved that map. By the way, I totally wowed that bitch. It was awesome. May you have a great stream and a lovely day. Thank you, RPR. I hope you do too. She said some things I never expected to hear from her during that day. Yeah. Any thoughts on Asian Bunny hitting double digit unbanned? Uh, who's Asian Bunny? Uh, good for her, I guess. Being banned sucks. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to complain about anyone getting banned, bro. Mango's at like eight. I want If you can still get unbanned in double digits, then good. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't care. If Twitch becomes softcore porn, that ain't my problem, homie. Bum ba dum, bum ba da bum ba dum, bum ba dum, bum ba dum, bum ba dum, bum ba dum. Sorry, I'm just looking at GG chat. I don't know how like up and up you guys are on all the like dramatics that happened yesterday. <laughs> but it's really funny. Oh my goodness, we know. Yeah, I mean, if you're okay, well, I don't expect everybody to know, but they, I'm sure Rob will talk about it. It's none of my necessarily like biggest business or whatever. But uh, I guess someone in the community was outed as a groomer. Uh, and as a result of that, I imagine Rob will probably talk about it. I know Cat Mom already leaked it, and then Lazzy leaked it on Cat Mom's stream, and then Jay talked about it too. Everyone, yeah, everyone's just yapping and yelling about it. So if you watch any of the outer streams, then it's something that you'll know. But it's not someone that I associate with, so it's not something we need to worry about either. Who's been grooming people? Uh, actually, I just say it. No, I'll leave it to Rob. He said that he kind of wanted to go over it on his stream, and I don't really care because uh, they've never been on my stream, and I wasn't even friends with them. So hey, fucking look who's got the good intuition on this bitch! Woohoo! I'm so cool. 
a straight cringe if true. I think the dramatics are more so just from the, ah, never mind. It doesn't be repeating, to be honest. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, this is how it goes. Anyways, that trash is gone. Lamal. It's not like I associated anyway. They slow dipped it for 30 minutes. Yeah, sorry about that, Moose. Hey, Lassie. Everybody's been hyping up this new horror movie called Long Legs, but I think it's a serial killer movie, so I don't really care. I disagree. I think a bunch of people have been hyping up Long Legs, but I don't think it's a serial killer movie. I'm pretty sure it's a Nick Cage movie with monsters. It's both. Well, whatever. I've heard stellar reviews, so I'm super hyped, and I can't wait to be disappointed. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Can we get 16 subs to ban Lassie from SF Turnips? After he refuses to eat good meat and hated the burger he grilled today and had hot dogs instead. He deserves it. Thank you for the 300 bits, XR Blue. What have I been up to? Uh, well, I went on a really, 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 really wholesome and, like, exceptionally fun date with Almond yesterday. And it was, like, really good. It was super fun. I actually just had a blast, honestly. That was so fun. She's just a delight, quite frankly. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, lo dude, no one DMs me at all until I go live. Just to be clear, like literally no one DMs me. And then the moment I go live, everyone starts DMing me. <laughs> That's so funny. That's just how it goes, I guess. Hold on, I got to update my panels. I don't know what the like, I don't know why that's a thing. It's like, it's so strange. I just block Lazzy. What the fuck? Here, I'll update my panels. Don't call him in back for three days. Dude, I literally already talked to her. It said it's today's Silence of the Lambs, so I assumed it was just a killer psycho movie. Um, maybe. I don't know exactly. I've heard good things, though, so I'm, I'm hopeful that it's actually kind of epic. How do I get to my channel so that I can, like, up update my gay little... Ah! Well, I heard my own voice and I almost had a heart attack. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Whoa! That was scary. What the fuck? Ugh. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Don't update that. Where is this like oh there it is. Do 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 There we go. I had to update the sub alert panel because Val switched some stuff around. Okay, that looks good. Alright, I think I got it. Cool. Alright, everything's looking solid. I gotta stay up and up on this because I don't want to accidentally pull a rob and have my sponsor after it's over in my panels for like eight months. <laughs> Because that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to do that by accident, which I totally might do. Tbh, honest. Like I, I totally the type of person to forget about my panels. My dragon, the slideshow has my fucking thumb in it. Why? <laughs> Sorry, I said turn up. Lamal, two grunkets. Now you know how chat feels. I guess so. I love your voice. Thanks. I don't, but I think that's normal for everybody. They're also making smile too, which is fine. I thought the first one was just mid, to be honest, but. There is something unnerving about someone who has like a really wide smile and like direct eye contact. It makes you like nervous. It's like a threatening thing almost. I love that Lazzy really loves the things he loves. I know you do, Rafix. You, you are clearly just like one of my mute friends and that you very much enjoy certain types of people. <laughs> Am I still playing the Elden Ring DLC off stream? I never started playing it off stream. I haven't touched it at all since last Thursday when it released and we played on stream together. Uh, I didn't want to spoil myself, so I haven't watched any of the Elden Ring DLC. I haven't engaged with any streams of it. I haven't played it off stream. I've literally just been in the dark about it. I shut my brain off effectively, and I, I didn't do shit with it. So I'll be uh, totally new into it when we play it either today or tomorrow. Who knows? What if everybody gifted 10 subs right now, and then I just went and played Elden Ring like I did last Thursday and had like 500 viewers the whole time? What are we thinking, guys? Like, what are we thinking? That sounds pretty sick, right? I mean, if everybody gifted 10, like, that would be huge, right? Like, if everyone did that, that'd be sick. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ray Fix. <laughs> he just wanted to see Lazzy. He just wanted to see Lazzy. He didn't give a fuck. Please make it 11. <laughs> I think the baby's coming. Thank you, Ray Fix, for the 10 subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. I wink and blink at you. Thank you, sir. Oh my god, I blush. Wow. Congrats on the Pagodancy. The Pagodancy. Yeah. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> Like 20 people all gifted 10 subs, I'd probably go do it. Like, fuck it, why not? That's like practically 9K anyway. Congrats on the pregnancy. Thank you. I just read that, but I didn't comment on it. Hi, Melbourne. Thank you for the gifted yeah. sub to 10 Whoa. sub. I quite appreciate it. Thank I you. shake your hand firmly. Hey, firm grips all around, brother. <laughs> I hope that that becomes a meme. That's just so ridiculous. Oh, man. All I've learned effectively is that you should really be careful if you're the type of person to write horrible, cringy shit in logs with others because damn, dog. 
Woo! Some of the leaked logs that have recently been coming out about Dr. Disrespect. So brutal. You're fine, lol. It's this amount right. Fucking Val! <laughs> Val! <laughs> Answer my question! <laughs> Bum -bum 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 -bum. Firm grips. You also shouldn't say you're counting the days. Oh my god, good reference, Doug. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time. I had to confirm with Val the amount, but I'll go ahead and send it over. I am now paying for Val's PC. Almost, oh god, oh, that was too many zeros. Oh. And then I guess I'll just add the transaction free fee too, so it doesn't eat into his cost. <gasps> what is the total for that? Okay, got it. Lock in. All right, guys, I have successfully just bought Val Hallen a personal computer. Hell yeah. Woo! He's going to be making so many fucked up edits. Oh my god, he's going to be making so many fucked up edits. It's going to be awesome. Ba -ba -bum. At last. All right, mark this down in my QuickBooks. There we go. Val, you are now successfully funded. Go buy your PC parts. It is time. You are now ready to do it. Mr. Val Hallen, definitely not Valhalla the Femboy. <laughs> Make sure you got backups for your TFA codes, Val. <laughs> we love Val here. It's the least I can do, like absurdly so. Ba -ba -ba. Mm -mm. Dude, you know what I watched last night? I watched Fury, Fury, Fury. Oh my God, I can't talk. What is her name? Furiosa. Fury, fu oh fuck. <laughs> Furiosa. Oh my God, that was so difficult to say. Jesus. Hmm. He's kind of kept the stream running for like four years. Okay, not kept it running. I can do things. It's just Val is an absolute insane help and incredibly awesome. Okay, let's not, like I, like I did things before Val, okay? This is on the floor and leaves the chat room. Later, Zona sick. Good to see you. Someone get the mop. Yeah, Fast and Furious. It was so good, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe it just broke even at the box office. Movies just suck dick nowadays. That shit was fucking awesome. Oh my god, it was so fucking hype. I felt like it was the it was so in the same style as the first Mad Max movie. The, the revamp, I should say, which was also fucking awesome. And it was even cooler, bro. Like, it was just boom, 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 boom. Oh, my God. Nonstop action. That shit was fucking awesome. I loved it. Look what Schmoopy taught me. Oh, yeah, that guy little dude's on drugs. That little fat bee can't stop popping pills or popping bacon in his mouth and gaining weight rapidly. He's like a rotund boulder almost. Mad Max movies have never uh, done good at the box office. Is that true? I thought the uh, the revamp first one did really good. I am paying fourteen dollars for a ticket plus ten for five. Yeah, that's fair. Come on, man. Sorry, Smoop. Yeah, I thought Fury Road did amazing. Uh, this one did not. It broke even by a little bit. Like I think it, like it's slightly over made its like full budget. Which hey, better to break even than lose money. But goddamn, that fucking blows. Cause that shit was awesome. Good reviews, but didn't make money. Well, it did make money. It broke even. It just didn't like m like you know make money you know what I mean like <laughs> you're crying for the past month without him that's true but I was crying for Val not because he's just an amazing moderator but also because he's just my friend and I thought he was dead and it was like really fucking me up <laughs> I really thought he was just dead I mean the last time he disappeared was because he got stabbed and he's got lung issues and like heart issues and I'm just like I just thought Val was dead straight up I thought he was fully corpse like never coming back so, uh, really good to have him back. I just, uh, maybe I'm in that, like, honeymoon phase where I just want to, like, shower him with gifts because I thought he was dead. Hey, if you ever want a free PC, let me know. All you got to do is fake your death, and then when you come back, I'll be so relieved. I'll buy you a whole fucking computer. <laughs> Live out. That scene with the helicopter motorcycles in the middle took 78 days of filming. Well, it was fucking worth it because that was the best scene in the goddamn movie. That shit was insane, brother. God damn, bro. Crunk it, crunk it. I'm on it. I'm dead, crunk it. Come on, buy a new computer now. Yeah, it's true. I kind of am a sugar daddy for a lot of people in the community at this point, but what can I say? I like to yeah, help out people. Oh, no, I just awesome. watched the VOD and you just read out my donors word for word, even the crump club. Yeah, yeah, I mean, what, I like tried to integrate them a little bit. I definitely did read out the crumb clap that you did in the donation. And you know what? Almond, she found it super weird and was not overly impressed on my ability to read out things about F1 because she knows I don't watch that shit. <laughs> but it was really cute. 
Thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. Whoa, I blush. Hey, thank you. I'm planning to pretend death in a couple of years. Can you supply a PS6 in advance? Thumbs up, if I had any. <laughs> I made zero dollars today. Not negative money. Great success, Corpa. Hey, you get it. Crump business. You just need to link his Duolingo streak to yourself, but then I'd have to have Duolingo, and that's just a fucking malware virus, bro. Uh-uh. She's just new to F1, so she probably didn't know much. I thought about mentioning it, but I thought it'd be funnier. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> we'll get you into F1. If you can't get me into Mario Kart, good luck getting me into Formula One racing. Nice try, bitches. Good luck, you little crumpsters. Nice try. Also, shout out Rathix for the 10 subs. That's really sweet of you. Thank you very much. Raythix is actually the number one proponent of pig lifestyles and farm saving. All the different crump pigs that exist out there in the world wobbling about, cute little pigs, many of them were saved by Raythix himself. It's true. He's something of an underground railroad for different pigs, saving them from having their hides turned into bacon. Those little crumps continually make it out into the wild, running off into the pastures, and then getting quickly devoured by wolves. They're just lovely. I cuddle every one. <laughs> The grocery store was playing the 14 sub song and all I could think of was the cute crump pigs dancing and jamming. Dude, that's my goal. Hopefully you guys will slowly learn to associate all of the different songs that play on my alerts with the alerts themselves. So you'll only think of like little pigs and crumps and stuff and that would be awesome. What the fuck is this? What is this? What is it? What did you just DM me, Flo? Anyone else want also, to that the pastor the Maldonado part was a trap I was hoping Almond would recognize. He sucks, Elmo. Oh, he sucks? Wait, really? Oh, fuck you. You're literally laying your donations with fucking... Dude, what is with the five-head bullshit that people are pulling on me recently? The other day, Vincent pulled a three-month-long fucking heist on my mental by convincing me he slept with someone else than who he actually slept with. Now, Rowler is interlacing his donations with incorrect information for me to peddle to Ullman so she can call me out on it later? Like, what the fuck? Why are people feeding me bad info on purpose? That's so fucked. <laughs> That's so fucked. What the hell? Give me a sub and maybe I'll snort you, bitch. I'm a little piggy. Hi, just oink. Anthony. I'm glad someone thinks I'm cool and sexy. You and Moose, man, honestly. It means a lot. Thank you for the sub. Classic Rowler Psyop, I guess so. Am I a gullible person? Maybe I'm just a trustworthy person, you know? I like to take people at face value and believe what they say to me at the front gate of it. You know, I don't try to I don't try to be skeptical of every single person I meet, you know? Although TBH, I should have been. <clears throat> that was just stupid of me. <laughs> oh well. Ooh. Rip 500 soon. Rip 500. Sorry, I, I wasn't talking because I was munching on my lip. <laughs> I have a, I have like a little bit of my lip that is incredibly like uh, dry, and I think it's just because I'm such a fucking mouth breather. <laughs> I'm a really shitty mouth breather, bro. It's actually pathetic. Oh, my goodness. Mm. What, is, what is this? Oh, God. The toxic mo... <laughs> oh, God. Guys, we got another edit. This is becoming a new thing. Toxic Moss has taken up the editing fucking sleeves. And he started... <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. We'll watch this. All right. <clears throat> All right. You know what? I can't deny that your edits are good. What is this? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta pause my gay ass music. What is this? All right, guys, are you ready? Crumbs, grab your popcorn. Let's watch a video. Woo! Let's watch a video, guys. Woo! Guys, it's time to take this lovely lady on a date. If you want, like, if you have a place you want to go to, like, we can I, go there. Too. I barely get on. Oh. Oh. Was that not a joke? It's a cringe comp. No. Oh. Ah. Uh, Sorry, I, I, thought, I thought you were joking. You, you don't get on very often then. Well, oh, you'll no. definitely be getting off. Well, I'll be occupying yeah, yeah, um, your afternoon. I'm excited to watch you play. Would you, uh, would you, would you like to join me for, uh, <laughs> see, hold on. Would you like to join me for a date, Almond? I'm really excited to go on this date with oh. you. But my might is unparalleled when it comes to supporting 
the people who I love, and she is my people. Thank you so much, Melbourne. Thank you guys for the hype train. Oh, shit. I hope I don't embarrass myself too badly on this. Thanks for a wedding. Of course. I mean, walking with you is the best part. It is a date, after all. Well, yeah. Is stop with that! Stop! I saw you in that sundress. It was Very, just like... Um... Oh. The only <laughs> blowing we're doing is... Like, it's... That's her blowhole, okay? Dude, you're such an asshole. He keeps editing out all the talking. Damn, that guy was really nice after you confronted him with owning me like a like an object. I'm glad you take care of your hands so well. I wish I could take care of you as well as you take care of your hands. Hands that are going to be getting wet today. Uh, I can't seem to tear mine away from yours, actually. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> You're such an asshole! Dude, fuck you! Almond wasn't even quiet for most of that. He just kept editing out the sound. Like, he kept muting the sound. You're such a motherfucker! It was not that awkward. It was awkward, admittedly. It was kind of like, you know, the, someone described it as two teenagers on their first date. Certified cricket moment. Thanks for the 100 bits. Fuck me. <sighs> it's not like that. I only edited it two times. Stop! Stop! It's like a Friends episode without the laugh track. Ah, oh, God! Shout out Toxic Moss for another great edit of another amazing full body stream by Crumpet. Woo! I'm glad we have this new thing to look forward to whenever I do full body. That's so awesome. Oh, Crump Clap! Crump Clap! That was really funny. It's not... Listen, Almond... Almond really enjoyed the date, actually. I'll have you guys know. She was over the moon. And so was I. We were so happy and in love by the end, okay? I'm not lying. If I'm lying, may someone give me 21 subs exactly so I can mourn Chuck and then look at Lazzie and cry. It's only awkward in the first third. It's not. It's not awkward. Hello. He was up dirty, Shirley. Toxic Moss can mute that out too. Stop. Crumpet shows off his gaping trap door. Jesus. <laughs> Good clip title. <laughs> I did punch her in the eye at one point, but that's like, those things happen when you're in love. I'd love to see that, but with a laugh track added. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Guys, yesterday's date was not awkward. I'm actually a Riz Lord. Ullman was so Riz. She was, she was like ready for impregnation by the end of it. Like her, her fucking, her, I don't know, women's anatomy. Her, her bean was quivering, brother. <clears throat> So Ohio of you, Crumpet. Thanks. 15k hours of VR chat. What the fuck are these clips? What the fuck are these clips, man? Yeah, I did bring her to the horror map and then punch her in the eye. Admittedly, that was kind of fucked up. But it's important to have low moments so that you can enjoy the highs. You know, that's part of a date. That's why she hit the pedal to the metal, huh? Stop. Could you jump? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Best I can do for you, Sito. I love how gay you are, homie. Thanks. If I could go on a date with a woman and I try to be romantic and I hit her with all these lines and it's just the most awkward shit in the universe. God, I'm just the worst. <laughs> Can you alt F4 something while jumping? If I alt F4, my fucking entire thing will crash. 15k hours up. Woo! Can you press 4 and jump? Yeah, for like a couple subs. Come on now. This thing doesn't unbuckle for nobody. Could you raise your arms and jump? No, yeah, I can't you're not do being that. Very sorry, right now. Everyone Crunk gets it. one ask, and you used yours already. What'd you say? You're not being very skibbity res right now. My bad. My bad, bro. Sincerely, my apologies. I'll try and do better. That's that's my fault. I'll do what I can. I am simply just so stupid. So sorry. <laughs> Woo! Damn, dog. Fucking bitches be ruining my ass. Actually, it's rough out here for Crumpet. Yesterday was fucking so fun, and I got got. This VR chat is amazing. That's crazy. Lol. Thank you, Sito. I'm glad you think it's so epic. I appreciate it. Feel free to follow if you want. Winks at you. Hi, Kumasu. Hi, Hex the Clock. Can we actually gift for you to press that and jump? Like, isn't that to us? Um, I don't know. I might just do it out of excitement, perhaps. Who's to say? 
I cried laughing yesterday. Well, that's good. I did think the date yesterday was one of the best ones we've ever had, to be honest. And that's like, admittedly, I am a, a light bit biased because it's Almond. But in my like history of like friend dates that I've done on stream, I thought that the Airy date was really amazing. Uh, I thought the Almond date was really amazing. The Flimsy date was pretty good. I'm trying to think of other ones that were like, oh. oh what the fuck? What the fuck is that a word? What the fuck? What the fuck is that a word? Oh, holy moly. Uh, <laughs> Stop editing me like that. Girl, you like that, bitch. <laughs> oh my god, it's got a dubstep breakdown. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Wow. <laughs> Thank you for the 13 subs, Vera Kaya. Oh my gosh, this is the Subtronics one. It's really good, what can I say? The 13 sub alerts certainly go fucking hard. They're some of the best edited, for sure. You're on the new Markiplier thumbnail? I don't think that's true, Max. Why would I be? Unless you're saying it's Asmongold, in which case, fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah, that was, an, that was a Julian edit, that one in specific. There's a bunch of really good edits on the 13 sub alert. I'm, I'm fond of all of them. I don't actually know how many there are, though. There's that one. There's the one with the emo girl. Julian's Mango's TikTok editor. He's one of her viewers. Um, there's like three or four or five, right? There's quite a few, actually. I like the one with Junbi. Oh, this one's really good, too. Oh, God. Oh, He's God. such a good boy. Am I? <laughs> Thanks, Can XR Blue. Can for me? Bah. <laughs> I am, I am. Oh, my God, Farrakh. Thank you very much for the 12 subs, XR Blue. Damn, 13 to 12? Holy shit. Begin the countdown. We are ready. Thank you ever so much, XR Blue and Mirakaya. Thank you, guys. That's actually enormous. Thank you so, so much for triggering those. That's fucking awesome. Search Markiplier and see what they were talking about. If I look up this fucking Markiplier video, and it's a picture of Gold or Salad Fingers or Slender Man, I'm going to be so mad. All right. Markiplier, most recent video. Ruby's Vitten Party. This does not look like me. Like, what the fuck is this even? It doesn't even... Why would this even... <laughs> that doesn't look like me. It's just a redhead animal. Like, okay, admittedly, the chin shape is kind of similar. But my eyes are red, okay? That's just you. It's you. That's you. I was right. <laughs> that scared Nay. I literally jump scared her with the thumbnail of his video. I am so sorry, Nay. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Me personally, I think that's fucked up. <laughs> ah, oh my gosh. It can't be you, that thing has two nostrils and you're an abomination with a cyclops nose. What? Sorry, I zoomed in on my tits, hold on. My nose, I'll have you know, exists. I have one singular nostril and it's right there smack dab in the middle. <laughs> I'm sniffing you, look. <sighs> you smell great. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to have like presets so that I can like super lean forward and like zoom in. Wow, so close, OMG, wow. Hi Julian, we just saw your alert on the 13 subs. Thank you. I got a slit nostril, it's true, I'm kind of like Voldemort. Maybe that's why people say I'm so nasally some mornings. It could definitely be it. I took a shower earlier. Oh, thank God, first in a couple months. Woo, crumb clap from Massanoc. Oh, hi, hi, ho, ho. Hey, what's up, Snack Snacks? Yo, good to see you. Welcome. Shout out to the countdowners out there. Mirakaya and XR Blue from 13 to 12. If there's an 11 next, then we're actually on another countdown arc, and that's sick. What the fuck, crank it? I won't forget this. Crank it, crank it. I won't forget this travesty. Crank it, crank it. Is that why you sound so congested at the moment? Probably. If I had to guess, it's because I got my tubes all tied up in my head. The, this head fog is just so real. Hello, Lucy Lovelace. Dude, wait, 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 wait. Abadaba. There's something I wanted to talk about. So there was this recent thing. I don't want to like stick on it too long because it's like drama and who cares, right? Like whatever. But there was like an additional thing that happened with Dr. Disrespect where he was like uh, hitting up this trans woman, uh, like sex worker apparently in like Twitter DMs and like asking her for videos and like cranking his hog and stuff, cheating on his wife and trying to simultaneously cheat with a minor as well. Well, that girl... I know her. That's Lena Love. Do you guys remember her from fucking VR chat? 
uh, well, I don't know if it's the same person, but she had the same username. I'm pretty sure I know her. <laughs> This is a small world, bro. That's crazy. If that's the same Lena. Yeah, yeah. I used to hang out with her. She would, uh, she'd join off me in public worlds. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, my partner manager just messaged me. Keith, thank you for the heads up. Have fun while you're away. I guess my partner manager is, oh, I guess I shouldn't dox her. Never mind. <laughs> Uh oh, banned. No, I'm not banned. Or, oh, yeah, guys, I'm banned. Oh my god. My partner manager has made it abundantly clear that the alerts that I have are just so much. They're too much. They're way too graphic and sexual. And now she's let me know that if I don't change things immediately, I'm going to be permanently removed off the platform. Snatcher. I just made that up. <laughs> She got 775 messages in this chat. It is her. Dude, that's so funny. I haven't talked to her in a million years, though, but that is actually crazy. What a small world. Fifth time in a year. I know, Zeathene, but I deserve it. I'm a bad motherfucker. I can't stop myself. I just keep getting banned. What the hell? <coughs> hmm. Dude, I'm scratching the fuck out of my head. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, sometimes, like, it's just so much talking in the little chat box. Okay, I'm done reading Discord. I caught up. Not the new almond alert for 51 subs. It's cute and silly and someone should test it. Oh, thanks for trying to bait me subs, Val. That's very sweet. <laughs> your edits are amazing. It is always great to see them on the big screen. You're like a director and I'm like your... Wait, that's actually so true. You're like the director who sniffs feet. You're like Quentin Tarantino. And then I am like the the movie audience. I'm like the, I'm like the theater. And then all the little crumps are sitting there eating their popcorn going... So the thing, so the thing. Woohoo! Yeah, yippee! And they're like eating each other. It's really cute. What's up, some kind of force in CD? Hi. Also, good to see you, Silent Kate. Welcome. That's Mango's mute. That's Mango's mute. She's sitting there giggling to herself, smiling ear to ear, going, I'm Mango's mute. I'm Mango's mute. <laughs> Super cute. Woo! Me too, Manana. Yeah, I do blush a little whenever I see Silent K. I was watching her stream last night, actually, late night. And was it last night? It was one night in the last, like, two or three days. And she was, like, writing kanji or something or some kind of foreign language. I don't know if it was Japanese specifically. But she was, like, doing lessons on it. And every time she turned around, her ass jiggled so intensely. It was fucking bonkers. That shit was actually crazy. Actually crazy. There you go. Now it's like a pun. You sniff feet. I like them. We are not the same. <laughs> Hi, Lucy Lovelace BT. I thought I was. That's no worries. Thanks for following my gay little channel, Pockers. No one knows cursive? I know cursive. In fact, I actually went through a phase in high school where I could only write in cursive because I forgot how to write in print, which was really rough because it turns out I can't read my own cursive. And I doubt most people can read my cursive, as a matter of fact. Cursive is hard to fucking read. Why did they teach me in elementary and middle and then high school to write in cursive? If it's not something you will ever utilize ever again in your life except to sign checks, in which case you can just scribble. Ugh. I went a week writing backwards. <laughs> Cute. Your teacher probably thought you were a quirky little shit. My teacher forced all of us to learn. Dude, I'm, what, 27 or something? So when I went to middle school, cursive was literally like the thing. I had to do books on books on books of cursive where you just had to sit there and write in cursive letter after letter after letter, sentence after sentence to the point where my hand would cramp from the pain. Oh my God, it was awful. But now it's ingrained in my brain forever. And so I know how to write in cursive. And that's cool, I guess. Is it useful? Fuck no. <laughs> it's also hard to read. Fuck cursive. That shit sucks. Uh, I know some curses. I curse you with fireball. Dude, I got cursed yesterday. Someone triggered a 33 alert. And I was in VR, so I can't throw my headset off because I'm worried I'm going to break it. Oh, dude. I literally grabbed Almond by her face and forced her to yell in my face and like just say words to try and override it in my head. That shit was fucked, whoever did that. That was fucked. 
<laughs> I'm holding all men's face in this horror map going, oh men, oh men, please, please, just keep talking, please keep talking, la 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 la. And then I was trying to focus on her. It was horrible. Peak content, like you broke Olman's headset. Uh, yeah, there was actually some battle damage from the date. Not only did I thought that I broke Olman's headset and she had a stroke live, um, I also put a hole in my wall. <laughs> oh man. I fell down during one of the scary alerts. And when I fell down, I kicked my wall and there's a hole in my wall now. Can't we see it? I'll take a picture of it, sure. Guys, at 8,800 subs, I will take a picture of the hole in my wall and post it. <laughs> Laval. It was actually incredibly embarrassing and thank God my roommate left this morning and I don't think he saw it because wow, that's fucking embarrassing. So guys, it happened. First hole in the wall due to VR since I moved into the new place. We got it. Clumsy ass streamer does it again. Woo! We did it, boys. We're good. I put a hole in my wall. Poggers. Nice job. Woohoo! Kind of get got so excited. Omen was so close, I just couldn't stop. Dude, Nay is like five minutes away from writing out actual fan fiction of me and Alma. <laughs> it's not a VR room without a few holes in the drywall. Apparently so. I've christened it now. It's like cracking a fucking champagne bottle on the bow of a ship. I've christened my VR play space. Strimmer hole. Show now. No. I won't show it. I won't. I won't. Not yet. Not yet until the time is right. God damn it. Nay lives by curiously through you. Did you mean to say, like, vi, vi curiously? Isn't bi curiously like when you're bisexual? <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> okay. I just can't imagine little Nay, like, slurping pussy. You know what I mean? Although, honestly, she might go either way. I don't know. I have a gift for you coming through the air. Could you check outside in VR real quick? Uh, all right, I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see anything in the air. What am I looking for here, Time Nix? What am I looking for? What, are, what am I looking for? There ain't nothing curious about it. Uh oh uh oh Take cover! Take cover! Ah! Nuclear annihilation has come! Run! <laughs> Guys, the nukes are preparing to drop. Prepare yourselves. I see it's upon us. Oh, shit. I did the wrong thing. Take cover! It's all over! Ah! The nuclear fallout picks me up and throws me around. My skin is shred. I become a ghoul. Ah! It hurts. It hurts us. Air. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell, Mirakaya? Potter's you. Potter's you, Mirakaya. Potter's you. Thank you very much for the 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 five the, 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 the subs and thank you, Time Nix. Oh hey, gambling. Yippee. You're all an 18, Mirakaya. Uh, gambling is all that remains in the nuclear wasteland after the destruction uh, caused by this motherfucker. Thank you for the 25 motherfucking sub. God damn. Yo, shout out my boy, Time Nix. Shout out my boy, Time. Hey. Crump clap for that guy. He just dropped a nuclear warhead on a bunch of crumbs. We're all irradiated now. Woo! Thank you. That's really awesome. I do got a show hole now, so I might as well get to it, huh? Time for hole. Crump clap. <laughs> oh my goodness. And thank you for the five subs as well, Mirakaya. That's super sweet, guys. Thank you so much. How do you know Nay isn't already writing a Crumpet Almond fanfic? I don't, but if she did, I'd read it live. That sounds awesome. Although I think she likes reading mine. Because I'm, uh, I'm decent at, like, romantic softcore erotica so yeah i'm pretty good at writing that kind of stuff it's right here all right fine well i'm taking a picture of the hole in my wall we'll watch this clip because i gotta turn off my phone to do it so finally crumpet's gonna show hole finally shut up it's not that kind of hole uh do this react videos and click got it okay well, i'm pausing my cosmo mort music what's this look at that hello <laughs> Reminds me of our wedding night. <laughs> oh, the look yeah, she gave bad. me. My bad on that one. My bad. <laughs> um. <laughs> is this oh, a flesh oh hole? God. I have one of these. Look at that. <laughs> Reminds me of our wedding night. Oh, I'm so cringe. <laughs> 
Reminds me of our wedding night. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a fucking cringe lord. That's so sad. Uh. Oh my god, I just DM'd Ullman a picture of the hole in my wall. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Whatever. I was supposed to post it in my secret Discord, but I just DM'd it to Ullman instead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, out. hey I'm peeking, I'm peeking. Hey, what's up? Yo! Okay, I'm pulling up the picture now. So this is the picture I took of the hole in my wall. Let me look in my almond messages. I'm the only one on this stage. Hey, Mirakaya. Whoa! Style Zaddy with 40 whole months of my nonsense. How do we manage it? Guess I'll just be a crump here and crump it. I'm crump sitting, if I may say. Cute. And dude, Birakai gifted a tier three to time next. Our nuclear annihilator. Thank you. What the fuck? That's enormous. Thank you so so much. Damn. Fucking twenty five huge bomb from time next, and then five subs to Mirakai. Then a tier three sub two time next from Mirakai after the nuclear bomb. Holy fuck! And then Style Daddy crumps sitting in the corner. That's delightful. Thank you. All right, here it is. Behold my hole. I kicked it perfectly, soundly, squarely, well, circularly, spherically, into the wall, like directly. It's a tiny little hole in the wall. It's my, that's my little hole. Look, look at my tiny little hole. Why is it so circular? I kicked it with the ball of my foot. I was thinking it'd be much larger. It's not really that small. It's about the size of an outlet. I think I just took it at a wide angle. I thought your hole would be bigger. I didn't kick it with my balls. I kicked it with the ball of my heel. Stop! Stop! My heel, my heel, not my balls, my heel. You guys are embarrassing me. I do have a little circular hole in my wall. All men DM to be back, what'd she say? Aw, cute. I showed Almond a picture of my hole and she responded, aw, cute, with a little tilde at the end. <laughs> Glory to the crumb hole, what could I say? Woo! She just called your whole cute, ain't that nice? That's my wife. She's always calling my whole cute, what can I say? Ah, <sighs> that's just how it goes, I suppose. Ah, well. Not with silence, at least. She likes your tight hole. Thanks, thank you. <laughs> that's, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> nice and cute until she's done with it. Okay, okay, we're getting a little too crazy here with the fan fiction, guys. Gotta, gotta relax a little bit, all right? Let's, like, let's calm it down. All right, Jesus Christ. Hi, right, Karumba. What's up, Koi? Hi, Melbourne. Hey, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Sit down. Grab your popcorn. We're just talking about loads of gubs. I actually feel like I've just been yapping forever. I don't know why the time goes by so quickly, but I've been having a really good time. I'm ready to Patreon sub to Naze. Naze what? <laughs> Patreon sub to Naze what? <laughs> yeah, there could have been a crumpet in the wall, and I might have kicked the little poor thing. Like that little crump, his little gelatinous mass, he went like that when I kicked him. Isn't that the kind of thing you saw on a typical Ullman stream? Listen, all I'm going to say is Ullman is very cute. And I would totally Patreon sub for Nafi on Fiction. That is true, Raythix. Absolutely. But um, last night after the date, Ullman sent me a very, very sweet message. And she's like, I had so much fun. And it's so awesome to get to spend time with you. And I love you so much. And I was like, wow, I love you so much. That was really fun. And then the two of us watched Furiosa in Discord together. Wow, that movie is fucking good. Holy shit. And the best part of the movie is it's two and a half hours long. So by the time it ended, Almond was sitting there in call like this. Like sleepily blinking her eyes so tragically. Oh my gosh, the poor thing. It was so cute. <laughs> you almost defaulted to saying Furin. I, I did watch a lot of Furin with Mango, to be fair. So it's not a lesbian mech movie. Well, actually. Oh my god. Is Furiosa a lesbian mech movie? It might. Yeah, it's like almost there. It's pretty close. She ends up with the robot arm, so yeah, kind of mech. She's always inside a vehicle, which is like sort of a mech if you think about it. A car is like a mech. Like if you think Transformers, they're pretty one-to-one. -one. Whatever. The point is, uh, if you haven't seen Furiosa, I would totally recommend it. That is fucking sick. You know what I wouldn't recommend and I am permanently done with forever? And I'm never accepting a sponsorship from them ever again because their company fucking sucks and is in shitified to such a degree that I am fucking pissed. Fuck Factor. Oh my God. Fuck you, Factor 75. 
you are a company that has been shitified unbelievably. I had your service for three months, two years ago, and it was actually really good. And I really enjoyed it. Now your company has in shitified and I will never ever accept a sponsor from you ever again because you are trash. Fuck factor, bro. Fuck them. Fuck factor. That shit is awful. Oh my God. I have had two different boxes canceled on me. I, I got factor earlier this fucking month. I've had two boxes ordered and delivered and they've delivered none of them <laughs> and they keep charging me. It's so annoying. Oh my God. Can't stand it. And shitification is a term used for a company that starts really good with a high market share and a really good like product brand that uh, is like really responsive and good to your customers. And then shitification is what happens when that company then corners the market due to its rapid expansion and success and then becomes rapidly shitty uh, and no longer is good. And that's what happened to 7TV. And that's why 7TV is always broken and sucks. And that's the same thing that happened to Factor 75. And it's basically every big tech company that's ever existed. They start out amazing and then get shittier over time. Like Google searches. Oh my God. Yeah, putting my English degree to good use on this one. And fuck you, Factor. Uber's the same way. DoorDash, Uber Eats, all that shit. Started great. Fucking trash. And should if it, companies should just be dissolved after 10 years. I'm, I, hot take. I think after a decade, a company should just cease to exist. Fuck. Fuck corporations. I hate them. <laughs> ah! Ah! an actual word yeah but oh pissed me off unbelievably i had to ask for another refund and then i canceled my service and now i have to ask for another refund because they refunded my most recent box but they did not refund the box that i didn't get so i'm just like oh god i'm like i feel a blood vessel about to pop in my forehead like i'm playing fucking mario kart and a blue shell just hit me when i'm in first and then after that someone drove past me with a star and then a bullet bill Oh my god. That is true, Skuggy. Every company has that same problem. It just becomes shitified over time and it's so annoying. But yeah, we've been yapping for an hour, so I guess there's to be our chat now. <laughs> and now you can see the nukes that exist. Oh my gosh, you are like in a little small town home, me and Almond's abode together. You think you Which do you think Road, is better, Furiosa or Fury Road? Uh, I actually think I like Furiosa better. I thought Furiosa took everything that Mad Max Fury Road did and then just did it better with more action and like more wasteland and more like camp. And it was just really fucking good. And there was like no shitty downtime or annoying bits. Loved it, actually. Fucking 8.5, 8 9 out of 10 movie. Was Thor a good villain? Thor was an awesome villain, actually. Dude, after seeing Thor, uh, which is Chris Hansen, what is his name? Chris Hemsworth. Uh, play the villain in Furiosa. Dude, not only is he really hot, he's really fucking funny, and he manages to be a really good villain while being totally incompetent and stupid, and it's awesome. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my God, he's Lord Dementis in fucking Furiosa, and it is so funny. There, okay, I won't give you guys any major spoilers, but there is a moment where he gets covered in this like red shit from a flare that goes off nearby, and he switches his name from Dementis to Dementis the Red, just because he can't clean himself. <laughs> it's so funny. And then he's like, uh, there's another part where it's it's Thor, right? So he's super campy and funny. And he's like literally about to brutally torture someone to death. And he's like, why do you make me do this? Why do you make me be Dark Dementis? Now you're gonna have to face Dark Dementis. You made me do this. And I'm just like, holy fuck, it's so funny. <laughs> he calls himself Dark Dementis when he does something evil in his mind. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> Such a good movie, bro. It's so campy, it's awesome. At one point, there's a moment where one of the like bandits that are working for Thor are like uh, are like questioning his authority. And he goes, are you questioning my bossosity? I am the big boss. Is he questioning my bossosity? And I'm just like, oh my god, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> Hi, Alfalfa. Peak original roast and just immensely entertaining. Thank you. That's actually a super sweet comment. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm really decent at writing roasts. Uh, not as good as some of the roasts that Rexon wrote, for sure. He definitely went all in. But I was proud that I wrote my own set. Because uh, nobody else did. <laughs> Thank you, Alfalfa. I appreciate it. The bossosity of his henchmen. Yeah, dude, so fucking good. They sound like lazy bits. It's horrible to say. I can't believe you'd say that to Chris Hemsworth, but fuck, that shit was awesome. Would definitely recommend it. Furiosa is a great movie. 
I'm gonna start saying that whenever Vincent, like, uh, <laughs> whenever Vincent is like questioning me, I'll say, are you questioning my bossosity? My bossosity, you're pulling into question. What the fuck? Dude, there was another, okay, I'm totally gushing about this movie now, but I'm okay with it. It was really funny. There was another moment where, like, <laughs> it felt distinctly different and hit hard. Dude, Alfalfa, you're making me blush here. What the hell? Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you found me from the Rex and Rose affiliate. That's, uh, that's really awesome. I'm glad you're here. We're talking about Furiosa, the new Mad Max movie. New question marks. It came out a little bit ago, but it just recently released HD digital, and that's why I watched it. I love how perfectly Furiosa flows into Fury Road. Yeah, it's pretty one to one. It goes right into it, which is pretty sick. Great for a prequel. And then, um, <laughs> I didn't pay Alfalfa. Okay, guys, if I paid Alfalfa to be here, may someone give five subs right now. <laughs> Whenever I receive a sub, thank you, Koi. Okay, make it four. Sorry, I already got one. Thank you, Koi, for gifting him. I appreciate it. It's super sweet. I'm and sorry that your paramour is banned, Koi. It's fucked up. Poor Chuck got got for saying he wanted to suck on a titty and he got banned on Twitch. Fucked up. Poor Koi, dog. That's actually so sad. Dude, at least with the 21 sub alert before, she at least got to see Chuck before he turned into Lazzy. Now she'll see him, know that he's dead, and then he'll turn into Lazzy. So it's like a double punch. It's so fucked. <laughs> It's only one way to see him on stream now. Mirakaya's already rubbing their fucking evil little crump paws together, going like, ha 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 ha. Now she gets to console him. No. When's the next people auction? I don't know, Blackheart. I don't know if I'll do another one. Um, It was fun for sure, but unfortunately a bunch of uh, the things that people were supposed to do for it never really happened. So it would feel kind of like, I, if I did do it again, we just have to do it only with the RP dollars. And there's not really a way to, um, like go higher than that so maybe maybe i can rework it to a way where people can't like offer things that they then can't follow through on because as much as it is kind of annoying that people don't follow through on stuff i also like it's not their job they're just my friends like they don't get paid to do that stuff so i don't feel like it's like worth pursuing you know what i mean like they're just people so I'll, maybe i'll rework it and then we'll do it in a different way that doesn't involve promising these like overabundant favors that are way too hard to accomplish because i'm going to be honest nobody wants to do homework <laughs> so maybe we'll just do stuff that's like in the moment like who can embarrass themselves the most in the moment or something so yeah maybe i'll do another one because they were really fun so uh tb announced is the answer to your question have them write contracts corpa style i don't want to be like big corpa i want everything to flow freely bitch god damn it they were writing lists of things they were willing to do. Yeah. And just give Jinx to Nay already. Yeah, damn right. Good to see you, Blackheart. A pleasure as always. I can't believe I sold, I, I can't believe I showed my little hole on stream. I sold the option to show my little hole on stream. I still think my fab ma max quote is that's bait. That's bait. <laughs> that's a good quote. Jinx and Nay advertisement was really good. I agree, that shit's top tier. When was the last time you did Impractical Jokers? I admit, Impractical Jokers is fun as fuck, but I don't think I can do it anymore. Uh, I kind of retired the show because every time I did it, I had 200 less viewers than I did when I didn't do it because it was so cringe and people have trouble consuming cringe content. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop doing it. Maybe I'll just make it like a special event once in a while. You know what I mean? It's too bad you can't see him on stream now. I guess you'll just have to do it in VRC. Raythex? I cracked my knuckles. Don't encourage Koi to go meet up with Chuck off stream in some, like, little riverbed that's shaded under the trees where no one can see, okay? Like, motherfucker. I'm inviting people. Some of the stuff you made people do was a mega cringe. I mean, that's the point of it, right? The goal was to try and make people say no and be like, okay, I tap out. But no one would ever tap out, so we would just keep going. <laughs> Poor Koi. Thank you for the 37 sub month. Oh my god. Holy shit, Mad Life. That's a long time. Thank you very, very much for your sub. I appreciate it. Ah, <laughs> Smoopy. Dude, Smoopy's the kind of guy where a tier three would be the same as a tier one did because you got to cover so much of him with the sub. You know what I mean? Like one wouldn't be enough because there's just so much to cover. <laughs> what? Question mark, question mark? Nothing, nothing, Smoop. I'm just saying like, whenever you get into the chat, the overall mass and density in my chat room increases like tenfold. The favor should have gone to the person being bid on instead of to crumpet. If people have a hard time watching a cringe, how does anyone watch your stream at all? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Raller. Asshole. You have a hard time watching it, as a matter of fact, because you're banned, bitch. I'm a career woman. I got no time for romance. I'm just here Yeah, subs are like pops. lotion. They lather the body. A tier two. <laughs> Get tier two. <laughs> Thank you, Mirakaya. 
TY for the tier two, my hero. It makes sense because like effectively Shmoopy is like two people in one. It puts the sub lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Feels like a Shmoopy roast would have a hard time fitting two different <laughs> messages. <laughs> it's AK for a bit, but I'm back and I think that it was just good business and we should go collect some debts. Sounds pretty fun. I do like the idea of like repo. That sounds fun. You had me at roast. Makes sense. Mouth already started watering. He didn't listen to the rest. He goes feral like a pig. Dude, a roast of Schmoopy would be really funny because it would just be fat jokes. Give me a sub and maybe I'll <laughs> At least for me. It would just be oink. fat jokes for me. It'd be so mean too. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, Riptide Scyther. Thank you for the 47 months. I waved to you. Hi. Hi, Riptide Scyther. Hi. I waved to you. Hi. Hey, hello. Dude, Val's trying so hard. He wants to see the new alert so bad. The best part about having Val do lots of my alerts is that they're always surprises for me too. So you get my genuine reaction. And most of the time it's, oh fuck. <laughs> As opposed to your normal interactions with Shmoopy. My normal interactions with Shmoopy are, yeah, basically that. Yeah, that's true. First time I'm trying Twitch as a podcast gym content. Ooh, you're hitting up the gym turnip? I'm happy for you, man. Fucking burn those calories, brother. Go ahead. I was trying to burn calories with Factor 75, but they canceled my last two boxes. And oh, they did something that really pissed me off. So Factor did this thing where they had to recall certain meals. It was like the herb grilled chicken or whatever because it wasn't screened for certain allergies and it contained peanuts and like some other allergens and wasn't labeled. Huge fucking misstep on their part. One, that's already incredibly inappropriate for a business to have a recall because it could like kill people because it doesn't check for allergies, which is just like super cringe. And then secondly, I was told to just throw away the meals when I got my box because if I have an allergy, you know, throw the meals away because you'll die. Instead, they de they emailed me that, like that warning that says, just throw them away when you get the box. And I was like, all right, whatever. I should get reimbursed for the meals that I lose. Whatever, bitches. And then... And then I was talking to the support today and they said, oh yeah, it says here that your delivery was uh, thrown away. And I go, thrown away? And they're like, yeah, uh, due to the recall, they were told not to deliver. And so they just threw it away. And I'm like, hello? And you know the worst part? They don't auto refund you. They offer you in-store credit. They offer you in-store credit I have ordered three boxes from Factor so far. I haven't received any of them. In-store credit for something I'll never fucking get because they do not fucking deliver the box to me, okay? Like, fuck this company, bro. Fuck this company. I'm so over it. Three years ago, they were actually good. Now they've literally in shitified to such a degree that I don't even want, I canceled my shit, fuck them. Anyone who uses Factor, it's shit now. Fucking don't accept a sponsor. Shit company, scam. Charge that shit back, I'm gonna have to. Cause like they refunded my, okay. They've refunded my third box and they refunded my first box. My second box is just up in the air. The one I never fucking got because they had to recall it. You never got anything some kind of forced in CD? I guess they've always been shitty then. Fuck them. I feel bad for having been sponsored. Fuck them. Back then, I thought they were good because I didn't have any issues and no one told me about any issues beyond uh, Tom and Iceman. And when I heard about those issues after the fact, I was like, fuck this place. And now, looking back, I'm like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> fuck you. God damn, fuck this company, bro. Fuck them. <sighs> Feels real shitty to know that my name was associated with something like that. So my sincerest apologies for that one. Huge fucking misplay. Hi, Crunket. Hi, Crunket. Hope you're having a nice day. Thank you, Matt. It's okay. I'm a little, I'm a little heated today. I enjoyed it years ago. Too bad. I did too. It was like the food was good. Aerie still fucking uses Factor to this day. And she doesn't have any issues. It just seems like they weirdly fuck people over at random. I'm just like, fuck that. I'm heated as fuck. I'm warming up. My, my cheeks are fucking flushed and I'm not even looking at anything hot right now. In fact, oh, hey, Jumbi. That was, a, that was a bad time for me to turn around. I thought I was gonna. I thought I thought I was gonna look at Vincent when I said I wasn't looking at anything hot, and instead I saw you, and now I feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. What do you mean? You're you're you look amazing. Really? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, and uh. Hey, Miz. Did you see the art that Golly made? 
Yes, but I want to know your opinion first so I can uh, replicate your opinion. Okay. I loved it. I thought it was so hot. We should reenact it. I thought it was poggers. Cool. We'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> wait, wait, what? For the reenactment? Uh... <laughs> I can't believe this bitch walked in here and said, I want to replicate your opinion. Tell me how you feel. What the fuck? Think for yourself, Miz. I can't think for myself. I'm a robot. But yeah, robots literally think for themselves in Terminator. They fucking become uh, like self-learning. No, we copy human emotions. I'm copying you. I'm, I'm, um, um, what's that word? Replicating? Imprinting. Imp you're imprinting on me. Okay. What are you, like a baby duck? <laughs> Am I your mother? Yeah. There's some art in Discord, Matt. Uh, two days ago, or maybe one day ago, I don't remember. I think it was two days ago. Uh, I jokingly said to Miz, in order to, like, throw her off, that I was going to get art of me fucking her with broadcast looking on as a cuck. And then Golly was right next to us and was like, okay, boss, I can do that for you, boss. And I looked to Miz and I'm like, with your permission, waiting for her to tell me no. And Miz goes, okay, sounds good. And I was like, oh, okay. And I'm one to double down. So I said, good fucking go get it golly and then he posted it so now that's that's the case yeah it's hot as fuck you thanks i guess that. she no, will not learn from this you can't do that you can't you can't have incest sex with your daughter crumpy why if Miz is your daughter you can't because that's my job i'll get jealous and i'll rub uh, refrigerated magnets all over miss you can't sorry, have a Jean second I... daughter you have sex with Second daughter. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot that you are macadamia as well. And you put on the wig to pretend that you're almond and ice kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's nothing like having um, a family tree that ends wig. in a Hold circle. I gotta, I gotta get the wig. Hold on. Hold on. You fucked Miz before June B. I know. I'm, I'm a mess. Hex the clock. What am I thinking? Well, I'm glad you like uh, the art, Miz. That must mean I'm special. You're so Yee! special. The family wreath. <laughs> <laughs> you home wrecker! Asterix pushes you down. Asterix rubs <laughs> uh, refrigerated magnets all over you. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. It's mine. My brain. I uh, burned your hair. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Pokes you in the eye. Hello. Hello. I think you might have damaged her. Who are you? I'm uh, Crumpet. Good. 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 Good fact you I'm your son. mother, who had we incest a little bit. We had sex with someone like you? Factory reset? Oh my god, she's fucked up. <laughs> you, the fucking magnets wasted her. Smacks your head. Fix! The hell? Did that work? Oh, you should have done that. I don't even know you. Okay, I'll explain who I am, Miz. I am your adoptive mother, and I care for you deeply. So deeply, in fact, that sometimes I slip in a finger here and there. I was, I was gonna make a joke about like, um, pressing, pressing a button inside me, but I, uh, never mind. <laughs> Jesus. Ay, caramba. <sighs> It's fucked up that I would do that right in front of the other kid who I also fuck, I guess, Lamau. Jesus. Jimmy's, <laughs> that's the only reason you did this to fulfill your incest fantasies. Anyone Can you please tell Jinbi that, that I love him? It. Like aggressively. Rowler loves you aggressively, Jimmy. I'm gonna install Unity and make you have to deal with a shit ton of compile errors. That's fucked up. Is my audio in mono? Vincent, say something. Uh, hello! Yeah, it is. What the Hi, fuck? Hi, Vincent X. I might have to I restart my game. My audio is coming in from... Oh, fuck. I have that glitch again. Okay, BRB, I gotta restart. <laughs> I nuked the audio, sorry. It happens. The nuclear bomb blew out my eardrums. I'm not gonna blame you for it, Time Nick. Still, thank you for the 25 subs. That's pretty litty epic and, I would say, poggers.
Time for VR. No, I did VR yesterday. If you want VR, you'd have to do something crazy style. Yeah, normally I do have great stereo. I thought I was just really fucking high. Ah, it just happens sometimes. Game busts and then that's how it goes. Not the only thing busting, that's for sure. Oh, I'm stretching, dude. <laughs> Elden Ring 24-hour when? Um, I don't know. That sounds really fun. I have a birthday party to go to tomorrow, though, so I don't know if I'll be able to do a 24-hour stream. So maybe I can just stream a little bit late and do some Elden Ring tomorrow, and then maybe I can do a secret Saturday stream. I'm dismantling the Pretender. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Took a second to load that shit up. When are we getting some horror game crunk at time? I don't know. Dude, okay, so I admit, <laughs> Elden Ring, woo! <laughs> I'm so excited. I admit that at one point, I did tune into Volp's stream and watch a small, like, 10 to 15 minute section of Still Wakes the Deep just to check, like, if it was actually scary. I know, ruined, ruined, a little bit spoiled. However, I will say, that game did not look scary at all. Uh, so I'm a little bit worried. Ika apparently said it was really scary. I'm hoping to be disproven. I also will, I'm going to expose Almond, and that's super cute, Val. <laughs> Dismantling the Pretender, huh? Well, where the fuck would they be dismantling her? If you don't like getting chased, you will shit yourself. Ooh. Oh my god, did you drown fucking misery in the bathtub? I'm just giving the toaster a bath. It was filthy, disgusting! <sighs> Doombie, or macadamia, I guess. Your sister, you have to learn to love her. She deserves better than this. Uh, fucking drains the pool and pulls Miz out. Miz, get out of the fucking... Good thing I'm a robot. This certainly won't hurt me. I'm waterproof. <laughs> oh my god. How do you feel? I feel refreshed and squeaky clean. Okay, well, it's very nice of you to give your sister a bath. Yeah, I use a lot of dish soap. Well, I and guess that works. Drain cleaner. Nothing you haven't put in your body already by accident. Me? Yeah. I assume you probably have drank dish soap before. I have, um, 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 no comments. Okay. Well, GB, thank you for bathing your sister. I'm glad the two of you are getting along. I was worried for a second that you were, like, drowning her or something. <laughs> Silly me. You quirky kids. So long as you two love each other, that's really all that matters. It's important to have a strong sisterly bond. Just like me and my sisters. I have so many kids in VR chat, by the way. I'm like Uzu level. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. I used to call it so cringe, and now here I am with all my fucking RP family members. Dude, the Crumpet family tree has gotten so fucking, like, grotesquely bloated. It's so sad. I'm fucking married to Almond. Macadamia is one kid. Then I've got the Miz. Uh, as another kid. Then there's, let's see, Flexa Bobe. Oh my god. And then there's the Karna one. It's like five children. Fuck. <laughs> Floopy as well. I fucking, oh, I just threw that one in there. That kid I had with Vor that I killed. That's true. Gotta eat some of your young. True. Dude, I'm never escaping the fucking allegations for stupid ass family RP. Oh, so yeah, tragic. Pretty much his mama crumpet. I know! Cat Mom became my sister. My other sister is Lisa. Fuck, dude. My family tree has gotten insanely big and I'm so cringe. I hate it. Ah! I'm sorry. It's not your fault that Almond is just so fertile. It's not just Almond. I have kids with a bunch of people, which is the issue. My brother, sorry. That's true. Oh, dude. Fuck. I still am married to Keo. I don't know if that ever got, like, fixed. Oh, yeah, me as well. You're like my dog. <laughs> Dude. All right, a brother who is your dog. I hope not, Alfalfa. I truly hope not. I really gotta, I gotta get this shit together, dog. I'm freaking myself out. I can't believe that I fell down this rabbit hole and never fixed it. Ah, uh, it's like fucking, uh, I did this divorce you. I tried to. It didn't fucking work. 
I, th I don't remember. Like, I had to reverse time at the end because Rob tried to snafu me into breaking Mango and part Mango and I's partnership. So I had to I had to reverse time. I don't know how far I reversed it. Family tree's a fucking boomerang. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't like the idea that you never really a force kill. You're close, but you just reverse it. Yeah, yeah well, that's a key Mango. She also tweeted that they were pregnant, so about to be another one. Oh, yeah, and then there's my Japanese wife, Tabooning. <laughs> Dude, I, I give up. I fucking give up. The family tree is fucked. It's literally a spaghetti, like a ball of goo. It's just, ugh. I know, Uzu, you got out of VR chat and I went deeper in without you to soak up all the family RP cringe. I'm the one who ended up soaking that shit up. And it's fucking lame. I'm so lame. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ah, oh, fuck. It's over, guys. It's over. Uh, instead of divorcing Kyo, just kill her. Yeah, I think, uh, honestly, going through any kind of, like, official channels is foolish, and I should just murder. Don't kill her. Why? I like her. So I end up on a shitty episode of Dateline. True. Can you marry Kyo? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if, 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 if um, um, um... I really do do it to myself, uh, asking them, huh? Think about it. Like, if that happened, I, my wife would be married to my daughter. I, I'm literally fucking Queen Merica from Elden Ring. That's like the family tree that I'm rocking right now. Like, that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm fucking Merica. <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, dude. I even got the red hair like Radagon. Oh, my God. I, I take Elden Ring fandom too seriously. Oh, shit. Who's going to backstab the family? I don't know. Who's, uh, who's pulling a Randy and hiring the black knives? <laughs> he just called knives, though. Uh, Sounds like wait, a Junebee maneuver. I have blue hair. <laughs> I have blue hair. Wait, have <laughs> yes, do you it? do, miss. Yes, you do. <laughs> the family wreath. Ugh. She's popping those babies out. It's crazy. I need a furry I'm doing dog. Elden Crump out here, dog. Shit. Change the past and move to a different world line. That might be the only thing I can do at this point to escape my crazy, fucked up situation. Oh, well. I'll just let it play out. Maybe it'll get worse. It's kind of funny. I want problems always. I'm just looking at me, blinking like a gecko. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind. I think it's cute. It's kind of empty. It's just mostly worms at this point. That's all right. So if politicians can have dead worms in their brain after it eats like half their gray matter, then I don't mind if a little femboy does the same. You do it. At least you're not Edward. doing a moog. Oh, God. <laughs> we always end up in the fucking bathroom, too. Oh, well. Whatever. The point is, family RP is cringe, and I have simply engaged in it to such a hefty degree that there's now no escaping it, and it's over. But on the bright side, I did get to go on a it's really sick, cringe. nasty date. It's not cringe. All right, Miz. I'll... I love it. I'll do it for you, then, Miz, since you love it. ha. <laughs> Oh, well. She's just hoping she can get more art from like golly. Yeah, I mean, that was some good ass art. What's up, Mew? I hate. Damn, that's a cute fit. Thank you. You're welcome. And, you know, your no nipples problem. are probably large and in charge. I got boobs, too. They got big, too. Thanks, Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be honest. He only looks at one spot. Oh, my God, they did. They could just be Why the shirt guys. Yellow? Why are you yellow? Why are you asking hate? <laughs> or like, are you talking to Mew? Mew. You can't just ask no, someone why they're um, yellow. She has jaundice. Well, it, well, they should know they have jaundice. She and probably does. <laughs> it's like going out with your toddler and then pointing at like a disabled person and being like, why do they look like that? Dude, yeah, okay. that is totally <laughs> something you would do. Please. He's so right, actually. Mom, Are they actually Mom, yellow or is it a monitor? I don't know, Miz. Based on our conversation about your monitor yesterday, it could be any number of things. Maybe your color correction's fucked. They're the same skin color as hate. For me. That is just not true. You, I think you're colorblind, Miz. I don't, I don't think it's My even close. My monitor is colorblind. Your monitor is. Me. Yeah, okay, sure. Oh, you my God. You look like a Simpson. You are literally a walking snafu. Like, I'm just waiting for the day that someone's like, I can't believe Crumpet hangs out with this fucking racist. 
Talking about miseries or Jinbi? That's right. That's a good. That's a good point. I think Jinbi would get got for like domestic terror. French people. Um, and British people as well. Listen, yeah. <laughs> Although I'm kind of right about I'm British people after what just happened. Hey. <laughs> So funny. Sorry, Nay. It's, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. There's so many people here that could apply to. Uh -oh. Hey, Jumbi, I have a question for you. What do I do I with an almost you. exploding oh, battery? Oh. They're in the ocean with the rest of them. You see, I had an idea. Well, and you guys have I so much in common. Right you should, like, make out or something. <laughs> Incest. Does that make you happy, Mom? Yeah. I just want you two to love each other. Okay. If it's that kind of love, so be it. <laughs> give me your tongue, whore. No! Oh, oh, get, get back here, give me your fucking tongue! Ah, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> kids are alright. It's the no. spirit. It really is fucking Elden Ring's family tree out here, man. Holy shit. <laughs> no. Those two are great. <laughs> Hmm. You made such a good decision. I was thinking, I was like, man, why didn't you play the DLC off stream? And I'm actually, oh, you know, since I'm like, I'm at the end, I'm so excited to see you like experience it for the first time. Thank you. I I finally made a good call. Woo! I'm excited. God, I'm dead. Ow, it hurts. Thank you for the two stop Wait, what happened with Elden Ring? I just haven't seen or done anything with it at all, so I'm totally unspoiled, and I'm going to stream it. And then everyone will get to see my live crumpet reaction to all the different bosses and like environments and cool things. I and hope you die. Hey, no, the ring. That's not as bad without with the pause. Okay, I don't understand either of you. So hate go the miseries. Go ahead, hate. <laughs> well, Vincent was also talking. Okay, then we'll do Vincent. I'll just go. Oh, I'll go crap. from like right to left. Let's start with hate. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, um, I was pissed because before I got to the final boss, I opened. And Twitch and on the front page they had streams of people fighting the final boss and I was like that kind of sucks yeah that's kind that's of a kind shitty of spoiler that they would just do that it's too bad you know whatever that's okay I've luckily because I only watch VR chat streams I've been able to inoculate myself against any kind of spoiler <laughs> Laval there you go my cringe ass saved myself alright what's that Miz alright yeah next bitch I said I hope you die and Thanks. then I forgot that sounded bad, so I said in Elden Ring, because Thanks, I don't want Miz. to to like kill the bosses so easily. I hope that I kill every single boss incredibly easily, like first like two or three attempts, or just like first attempt, and then I can glow to you about it forever. That would be epic. That was I would, actually um... me, that guy <laughs> who said. People went in the DLC with New Game Plus 3. That I am playing the DLC New Game Plus 3. Jeez. It's, it's so bad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's good. It's just like everything has ridiculous amounts of HP. That's what I've heard. I've but heard like it's like it really difficult if you don't have all the skadoosh fragments or whatever. Skadoosh. It's okay. Did you know it's pronounced it's just... Shadow? It's I did gay, know like, that. It's spelling. old English. That's it's how it so used weird. to be. Yeah. It's like the same way that jail and jail, like J-A-O-L is, mm -hmm. is pronounced jail, but -A -O -L, fuck that, man. It's yeah. way funnier to say skadoosh. I thought it was goal. It's not. Okay. Ever goal. Yeah, it's not an ever goal. It's an ever jail. <laughs> ever goal. <laughs> That's what Jim, Jimby's Gaelic. Yeah, um, you do do a lot of Gaelic. I, I ain't licking the gays. What do you mean? Fuck you, bitch. You've been trying to lick me since the day I met you. Okay. <laughs> What did you want to say, Vinny? <laughs> I mean, it was already, it's already been said that the bosses are going to be hard, so it's already quick. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I was referring to things as shadow level to be cringe, but I was right. You are right, Almond. It wasn't even <laughs> Skidoo. She's I'm, just so smart. I know. Almond is just really smart Skidoo. and talented and beautiful and funny. And she makes me laugh. And sometimes she'll say something like, yeah, you water. are mine. And then I'm like... Yeah, I am. <laughs> Are you drowning bugs? Dude, you actually just reminded me of something horrible that happened last night. I went to go pee, and so I'm sitting on my toilet, and I'm just peeing like this, right? 
And then I turned my head and I looked at my counter and a gigantic fucking wolf spider, literally enormous, was crawling around in my sink. And I fucking screamed at the top of my lungs. And I had to just sit and finish peeing because I didn't want to splash anything. So I got up, I finished peeing. I looked in the sink and it fucking started running and I immediately punched it. I just out of instinct and I felt so bad. What? I felt so bad because it's just a little spider. Wolf spiders are mostly harmless too. Like they just run away. But I got so fucking scared. Yeah, they do. I have another spider story. Poor spider. Well, I'm not done yet. I, when I punched it, I heard the crunch of its like exoskeleton and I think I traumatized myself because I couldn't, I felt so awful after killing it. And I was like, the entire time I, I, I like, after I punched it, it was still like wiggling around. So I like smushed it and I felt it crunch. And I'm just like, I'm so sorry, just die, just die. I'm so sorry, just die peacefully, just die quick. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, dude, I felt awful. Uh. No one only got fed like two years ago. Yeah, I fucking, uh, I felt awful, bro. I was so bad. I had empathy for a bug. Well, normally what I do when I find bugs is I put them on a little, like, napkin and I take them outside. But it caught me so off guard because I felt so vulnerable from peeing. <laughs> and it, it moved so fast that I just, like, struck out like a it's viper. Like fight or flight. Yeah, <laughs> it was a fight or flight response and I fucking punched it. I felt terrible. Uh... Ancient instinct kicked in. Yeah, but I like to rest in peace, spider bro. Off one by one until they're just a little nugget. nugget. <laughs> Live reenactment of last night. Ah! Wait, make yourself smaller. Ow! Okay. Just punch the shit out of my desk. Where'd they go? Ow! Woo! We actually just killed another spider. <laughs> Check your hand. Oh god, I, I look. There's like a little fucked up smudge. Oh jeez, <laughs> man. Wolf spiders are lightly ven venomous, but they're not like super bad. Wolf spiders will literally just run away from you. Like they don't want anything to do with you. They're only gonna bite you if they got no other choice. So, best thing you they can do is usually just like take them outside. Because the uh, the poor spiders the coldest part in your house. Ooh, that makes sense. Because they like no, cold temps. I think some just pure force. Oh, Sorry. Like, like tarantulas, I get it. Yeah, wolf spiders, spiders are big as fuck. Like tarantulas exist. So I, they yeah, don't have very strong can venom. Shoot out their hair. Yeah. I did know that. They're like little porcupines. I bring sneeze in. So I think you killed Spider-Man. I did. I could have created fucking Peter Parker's uh, golden ticket. And instead I smushed the bug. <laughs> if you listen to a huntsman, they chitter the and chirp. So they talk. The poor spooter was probably screaming while you crashed it repeatedly. That uh, Fuck you. And what is a huntsman? Is that different from a... Uh, what did I say? Huntsman spider. They're it's, one of the most deadliest I'm spiders in the world. Yeah. Well, it it's was okay, whatever we those. Worry about it. it was whatever those spiders are in Colorado that are super common. The ones that don't have very good venom and are super spiders. afraid. It was that one. <clears throat> I don't think we in the UK have very much venomous buggins. <laughs> buggins, I like that. What's up, Zoom B? I think all spiders are afraid. Me too. Do you remember the story I told you about the mouse named Giuseppe that I killed? I do remember that story. Oh my god, you're literally a serial killer. Like, you have all these stories of murdering small animals it when you were young. It wasn't on purpose. We know oh, that it's out of context. Listen, I, when I was you little, murdered your mouse, Giuseppe. Had... You killed him. You are, like, literally the red flag alert system for every single, like, 2B serial killer in the future. You murderous, small animal killing psychopath. You know, Mew. It was an accident. It's funny. Like, those aren't really dangerous. Always per start. Se. Yeah, it was an accident. They used to be, though, because they used to hang out in outhouses all the time. Pass both of your heads. Good girls. Can, People can I tell my story? The, the you were an accident. Yeah, That's they it were. Used to be so dangerous of course you can, Miss. Go ahead. What's your story? <laughs> okay, I have two stories. So let me start with okay. the bad one. Mm -hmm. Um, I dropped something by a Black Widow um, spot spider's uh web and because oh, like how invisible cool, the webbing is i was impossible for me to see that i had spider and i didn't have my glasses on and i'm about to reach and i see something glisten and i'm like let me put on my glasses and then i see a black white one i'm about to put my hand in there yeah you are definitely like velma level in terms of getting yourself into situations that are really dangerous and like crawling around oh, without jinkies. your glasses oh jinkies and then like <laughs> i was too afraid to kill it so I had to muster up strength for like five days, and after like five days, um, I produced uh, chemical warfare. No. <laughs> I I shot that spider for thirty seconds straight with yeah, um, bug spray. Oh my god, you're a monster! I never found the body. Yeah, I did. Is it on the directions? 
They said on the directions, do you have to continuously spray at Black Widows? So I did. It smelled for like three days straight. Jesus. <laughs> I, I remember now that you live in a tiny little fucking shed. So yeah, probably t you're just breathing in bug spray fumes for three days after emptying a can on a Black Widow in the corner of your shed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh my, my second gosh. story. Um, okay. I was gonna brush my hair in the morning, and then I saw like a little jumping spider. And I was like, get out of there. And I pushed it away, and it kept jumping, and it was fun. But I had to <laughs> get uh, out of there. take it serious and, and kill it. And I was too afraid to like <laughs> feel the texture of it with a napkin. So what did you do? I punched it so I wouldn't feel it. <laughs> but with a napkin over it. Why'd you it. take after me? It's just punching shit with napkins over it. It's very... <laughs> it, was, it was fun making it jump. It, it was funny. Oh, who are my two little sociopaths? Oh my gosh, you two are so cute. I, uh... Yes, you are. Oh my god. I throw a blanket on me. I throw a blanket on you. Oh my god, Nay, shut up. <laughs> I have no problems with bugs, but praying mantis, fuck them. I, don't, I could, like, you could fuck up a praying mantis. They're not even scary bugs because they're so big, right? Like, they're these giant, like, alien-looking things. They don't even, like, skitter. They're scary and fall out. Not nah, even. they'll no. fuck you up. Nah, no I way, bro. I could beat the shit out they of the praying mantises up, and fall out. You just punch them in the head, no, no, and then no, they no, can't no. do anything. They're, they're but we always, always post up on you, and I can respect that, you know? <laughs> they, they always, you know... The real ones post no, up on funny, you. funny though. They're just bugs. They're just fucking bugs. Called, called uh, rooms for days. Rooms for days. Is that the one? I think I have. Is it updated since we last went there? So you just go through different rooms, right? Oh, I think rooms, I know right? that one. Yeah, but it's I like, think it's so. A it says week. updated six twenty one twenty four. That's pretty. Yeah, we could go there. Sure. So. I'm down to look through some rooms and shit. That sounds fun to me. Wait. Did Wait. you did you know um. If the mantises are spa time, are small man. enough and fall out, you can literally stomp on them to death. I did know that actually. I was in yeah. fact almost going to bring that up, but I thought no one would care about my fallout facts. Okay, well I have another crazy fact that oh, you probably okay. don't know. All right. You Try can me. push Brahmin and Fallout by crouching. By crouching and one and then sneaking. You can put, yeah, I know, I know. You can go Brahmin tipping. I knew that was. You too. Why didn't you know this? Has so no one many knows hours this. In fallout. Yeah, who doesn't know that you can Brahmin Bro, tip and fall in New Vegas? It's fucking, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do it in Fallout Three too. Look at the Rex's cows. Why? Why would you ever need to? Do you want a sock? Yeah. Ugh. I socked you one good. Ooh. Like to come in. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, if you crouch next to a Brahmin and fall out, you can push it over and you go Brahmin tipping. Minus one mew. Punch that bitch right in the head. Woo! Yeah, I have a fuck ton of hours of gameplay. I know everything there is to know about Fallout. Like, there's very little. It's a great leaving line. Crimp clap. Thanks, Nay. <laughs> Dude, we're exactly one little pig alert. Well, it's anything but little, to be honest. Those pigs are portly as fuck. From 8,800 subscribers. Once met a guy in VR chat going around in a samurai cockroach avatar and he was talking about full body tracking. Turns out it was a trap and he was a disabled war veteran wheelchair bound and I'm here like, oh yeah, full body's really cool, you should get it. And then he trauma dumped on you. <laughs> Sorry that happened, Jaconius, it's rough, bro. <laughs> it feels like you got set up. Looks like there's 74 you can teleport back by holding T, cool. Every Friday. Oh wow, that's awesome. Delivery time and quality varies. Okay, well. <laughs> All right, current status of active rooms. 74 active rooms. Many puzzle elements are unfinished. Please be patient. I mean, it's cool that they keep releasing stuff. It does definitely seem like there's just a fuck ton of different rooms that you can go to, though. I think as soon as you enter one, there's just paths to the other rooms, and you just kind of go. Yeah, look, you can see us right here in the center. There's 74. Wow, look at that's crazy. Look at all those rooms. We're like a, it's like a honeycomb It's hive. just like a 3D matrix. All right, what are we going? I'm clicking empty room. I'm just gonna go up. Not yet visited. Oh, you can't teleport. I think you actually, I have yeah, to go you there. Have to, like, I think this is empty room. All right, let's go. Where is How do you know it's that? Yep, this is it. He was right. It is just a gigantic empty oh room. Oh my god, it's like that one movie. The, the cube. cube. Jinx. Cube. Yeah, that movie's crazy. Cube. Dude, that movie With is. Aren't there like a couple it. different variations of the movie Cube? I feel like that's a very popular concept. No, there's uh, a there's a second one. Sock. What the fuck? 
Yeah, the, no there's part. actually. But like the second one. <laughs> I I grab your socket. Come in your socket. Come in your socket. Oh my god, dude, we don't come in their sock. It's not. It's not even a real sock. It's like a mesh. It's all gonna leak out. Look how sticky. Sorry about your sock. It's gonna be a little goofy. It's quick drying. You. <laughs> stuck to the floor. <laughs> it's like you. You're so nasty, Jimmy. What the fuck? What'd you do? Don't put it back on. It can stand up oh, on its own now. Out. You yeah, saw a sock come. that was just my size. Bullshit. That's your. Okay, whatever, dude. <laughs> you I've never complained about that before. <laughs> right, it's just lies, bro. I refuse Which to believe Jimmy has a huge penis. Huh? Yeah. We go in the middle. We Rubs go your little there, head. We Aww. We go there. Rubs your little head. I'm at a loss of words. Aww. Hi, Crimson Vixen uh, One more month for one year. You're almost there. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> Good girl. You know, I was, you know, looking after my sister. That's what you should <laughs> be doing, clearly. Nikki. Yeah, it looked like you were just having fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge you for that. How do we? Okay, is this like? Oh, it's a door. I want to go further up. I want to go straight to the top. So I'm going through this one. Angular ascension. This has got the heroescape layout, dude. This I used triangle, to play so this much. This triangle action. says something is missing. Right all over this triangle as you make song. Dude, triangles were ruined for me with the whole Destiny expansion. They made the witness and all that shit, and it's all triangular and like, oh my god, triangles versus spheres, good versus uh, like evil, light versus dark. Can't take it anymore, bro. That shit. I don't know if I'm satisfied with Destiny's end. It's just been so like long, like so many years. Oh, look, my little feet light up. Cute. That's not your feet, that's the shoes. Nice. Okay, my shoes light up the triangles on the floor. There, is that what you're looking for, Miz? Some grammatically correct structure? Never mind. <laughs> you get the world sounds on? Yeah, I do. I hear it going boop, 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 boop. Nice. Maybe you gotta play it in some kind of triangular motion, and then it'll like open up. It's like a puzzle. I know, dude. <clears throat> All right, right or left? I don't think there is a puzzle. I don't know, Novocaine. Do people normally like draw femboy dicks as like enormous? Depends. Uh, depends. Top or bottom? Uh, yeah, yeah. What's the depends what's the top that's or bottom? That's what usually food is, right? It depends <laughs> on what the artist is. They usually draw like that's. I think there's like you know some people prefer them no, big, some saying, people like, how they prefer them. them cute and. I'm just Snacks. asking about, they, they like, why they draw them large, well. I guess. I don't know. Basically, I wanted to lead this conversation into how, after we watched Furiosa last night, Tara started streaming and showing us all of her favorite animes, like trailers for different animes. We watched a trailer for Elf and Lied. We watched a trailer for Domestic Girlfriend. And the entire time we're watching these trailers for literally the shittiest, most garbage, weird-ass animes in the world, Tara's like, oh, this is like hey. my favorite anime. Oh, this is like my favorite anime. Oh, this one, my let's, favorite. Let's hop off of Domestic Girlfriend for a second. Okay. I watched and read all of it. It is a good story. Like it was really well crafted story. It's he good. He fucks I his like sister, it. and then he fucks his teacher, who's also his sister. <laughs> yeah, like, well crafted. Neither related to either of them. Right. They're just like it's it's their game. His his dad married their mom. Oh, then, wait, they're not related. Yeah, Never it's not mind. actual incest. Right. It's like, well, it is incest, but not blood related incest. <laughs> and then, dude, oh my god, I realize I think I hate anime. I actually having Tara show me trailers last night for different upcoming animes that she was excited about actually made me hate anime because she so she showed me a trailer for an oh. anime where a guy becomes a dog, and then he fucks the girl he likes as a dog. And she becomes like her pet. I saw that. Yeah. Oh no. And then there was another <laughs> yeah, one. There's all. Wait, hold on. There's, there's also a, a one that's identical to that, but he becomes a pig, like a little piggy. Watch the trailer for that one too. He fucks the girl as a pig. Yeah. Yeah, that was a crazy bring that up. We watched the one where the... It's a bunch of isekai bullshit, right? And one of them was, I've been reincarnated as the, my crush's dog. And then there was another one. Where I've been reincarnated as a pig, but luckily there's a telepathic girl who falls in love with me and can tell that I'm intelligent. <laughs> And then the other okay, one we watched was, to be fair. I'm a 40 year old neat man living my life and my wife is dead, but luckily she was reincarnated as an elementary schooler. To be fair, that's easy. Wait, I, I think I heard about that last Paddington. one. It's, 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 yeah. not, it's not, I mean, it's not, it's not a Paddington situation. I, I mean, I, you could I'm not watch the trailer sure for that last one. 
You could not watch that trailer right. and not tell me that it just I'm, makes I'm you fucking sure like it alarm be bells go off. Right. It does not. Right. No. I, I could have sworn that, that nothing like happens and he's just like, oh, doesn't I'm feel very wholesome. Right. I'm gonna be honest. Reincarnated. Doesn't feel very wholesome at all. It's really okay, weird. Maybe I'm, maybe and I'm fucked up and I don't like it. And I watched the trailer like, and it made me hate yeah, anime. Like, so now I, I'm an anime fucking uh, hater. Oh my god, I'm so mad about it. I always watch the bad anime trailers. What do you mean? What? I, I was just watching whatever Tara was streaming. <laughs> I know anime that doesn't have like weird sex stuff in it or like any of that stuff. I have a theory that so the they just adapt the Start weirdest spitting. manga in Japan mm -hmm. to get views because people know it's like. Well, I also so think weird. that we gotta watch that. Even Sounds though it's more like, just you like hate some a manga. True. I think I just hate isekai anime specifically just because it's so shit. It's so, it's so bad. It's like, yeah, it's, 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 like anime. it's like the only thing that floats nowadays <laughs> is just like the super saturated like fucking... Exactly. They're all yeah. Although I think it hates on to something. I'm pretty sure some of it's just done for uh, some of it's just done for clicks. Like shock value. Realistically, yeah. It's like yeah. a shock value thing. Like, it's like for it's sure. The, it's the reason why they have those long ass titles nowadays is to like grab your attention. Mm-hmm. I think you can tell anime, a lot about a person like depending YouTube. on what anime they recommend you. Almond's recultivated my like of anime because that sounds really funny. I should ask all of our friends to put together like three or four trailers of all their favorite anime. And then I should look over those trailers and then judge them as a person based on their likes of what they like as anime. Because <laughs> I got to be honest, I think Tara's a fucking idiot after she showed me her favorite anime trailers. Those anime sucked. <laughs> I reincarnated as a streamer and my wife is a nut. Yeah, that's true. I want to, uh... Are we going right or left? Let's go left. He went straight. Yeah, okay, I didn't know which way I walked in. He went straight. Fuck it. I went backwards. <laughs> I've, got, I've gone the wrong way twice now. I'm fucking freaking out. This is right. Best map. <laughs> My favorite animes are a mix of extremely cute romantic comedy or literally anything that Vinny would watch. Dimension. That sounds right. We were like, I'm going left, and then went straight, then went backwards, and then ultimately went right. Yeah, life is tough, went, man. I'm like directionally challenged. That shit was hard as hell. <laughs> Anime is just like Crumpet's content. It's all haha, -ha, funny, and weird, but it's actually enjoy all my fetishes. What? That's not true! <laughs> I don't even get to, like, experience all my fetishes on my stream. What the hell? We're like one of those, like, parody animes. <laughs> that Just taking a look anime. at, like, your POV right now of what's on your screen. Crumpet, you're the yeah, self-insert. <laughs> it makes sense now. Dude, this is bullshit. I don't even get to have any of the cool fetishes. It's just like, oh, incest and domestic terrorism. Retard. Femboy. Fat boob. What is a cool fetish? Domestic Ms. terrorism is my favorite kind of fetish. Emprag. Fuck. Uh, okay. That, well, those are my fetishes. They are definitely could be construed potentially as people's fetishes, though. But they're not mine. <laughs> you want to like go in the middle here? Uh, the yeah. We're going to the basement. I'm pissed. That's a cool fetish. No, I don't know. No, feet no, are no, probably no, cool. No, I feel like feet are like accepted, right? No, like Quentin Tarantino likes them. I mean, they're I don't like, like an feet. Thing. You really think that they're boring now? I do. Well, what's a cool fetish then? Family man bedroom. Yes, I think it's Rupert. Yes, family guy Rupert. Stewie bedroom. Rupert. Well, well, well what does he say? Oh my God, they all know the references. I've never even seen Family Guy. What does he say? With the devil. What? What the devil? What Almond? That's crazy. <laughs> okay, to be fair though, there are good animes. I uh, I definitely. Yeah, I'm just being, uh, what's the word? Like, I can't play with the crayons. Just eat them instead. It's like more your speed. I love Family Guy. I love Family Guy. They don't taste that good. Uh, yeah, it's probably better flavors. They're okay. I am being kind they of obtuse. Bad, but I will say good. the best animes I've ever seen, Attack on Titan's my favorite. And then there's this anime called, like, it's not Inuasha. It's like Inuashika or something. Inuashiki. It's about an old man who goes to a park and gets hit by a meteor. And that one's really fucking good. Um, oh, I love it. He becomes a robot. Good. Don't that spoil really it, good. you fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, I mean, that happens to episode I, one. That's I like... guess it's true, yeah. That's just like five years old. Okay, I but tried those to read really Inuyasha, good. but I didn't like how it got naked immediately. 
Well, yeah, I need to watch the sucks. It's like some guns. adult swim fucking cartoon. That shit's lame. Uh, what are some That's, other animes really that are really good? It's, my... a show, it's a shoujo anime for girls, for ladies. My nana liked what? it. Because so really I good. like it. <laughs> Stupid ass. Uh, uh, huh? Cowboy Bebop. Oh, I like Fear too. Oh, and that fucking... I've never seen Cowboy Bebop. I also like that dungeon show where they eat shit. That was pretty fun. Oh, I only saw the shit. first couple episodes because I was gonna binge Nashi. it with uh, Mango. It gets good. But I never. I only saw the first really couple, good. and I was like, "Yeah, that was that was okay." It keeps it's up really like it's, it, it keeps being enjoyable all the way through. Everyone just recommends me these watch. animes like Fooly Cooly, Cowboy Bebop, like the like the classics, like Death Note. I've never seen any of those. Oh, I would. I would oh, get a monster. Good. They have like horror elements. And I think it'd be the both the Like the cheese? Monster. Yeah, monster. Like the drink? No, like the, like the energy drink that makes you infertile. It makes you infertile? Yeah, that's yeah. great. I've only had what one, so I'm probably think? okay. Your cow is going down from looking at me all day. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm going to be breeding. Well, what if I ever want to have like an yeah, actual kid? Worried. I could like, I could jizz like in a, a cup surrogate. and then like hand it to a girl or something, right? Yeah, yeah. I do that all the time, but no kids so far. That's what that I'll do with true. Almond. I'll just like jizz in a jar and I'll hand it to her and say, give birth. <laughs> is that romantic? <laughs> do whatever you do with <laughs> this. It's dumb. Do whatever you women do with Depends. this. Do one. Do Depends on what. How, how you present it. How you like go about Should it. Should I put a bow on my jar of cum? Wrap it in a bow? Yeah. <laughs> just oh, scary. Dumb. I won't comment. I, I, you're the one who said I have to present it a certain way. How would you want a jar of cum presented to you for breeding? Put it in the Christmas box. I, I don't want an answer. Miss, I won't know how to present my cum if you don't tell me. Put it in the Christmas tree. I, I, um, That's a good I idea. feel like you should be like, you ribbon. should be like, I made this just for you to show my appreciation for you. Now, I was thinking of you when I made this. <laughs> You could, if you give it to Almond, you could 3D print like a little figure of her and put it in the cum jar. That'd be kind of cute to actually, okay, if I were to present a jar of cum to Almond for the purpose of her impregnating herself with my <laughs> semen, I would want to put a little bow on the top Do of the jar. Do snow breeze. Oh my god, so that's that so... So when the cum is gone, she gets a little gift. That's true. Okay, here's what I do. I would cum in the jar until it's full. And then I would put a little bow on it, and then inside the jar I would put a little plushie. That's gonna plushy. take like three months. Okay, well that's fine. I'll just keep or it refrigerated. I mean, I'm a big producer, so I'll just add some zinc to my diet. Not the tracker jacker, the other one. So then I'll put a little plushie of snow breeze in it, and then I'll put two little 3D printed like figurines of me and her in it. And then I'll present it and I'll say, always thinking of you. And then, what do you guys think? Is that like romantic? Yeah. It needs more words. How many words am I going to put on a fucking jar? Should I attach a letter? Make a poem. I love poems. Uh, okay. Oh a poem. All right. So... Put your ear up to the door over here. You can hear Peter and Lois arguing. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, the first time Chatter came in and his first time tuned in watching. Lamau. <laughs> Talk about the cum jar gift. I don't hear nothing. So turn your volume up, dumbass. Freshly oh, squeezed. That's a good I'm one. I'm not doing that. It's really hard to come up with a poem on the fly, so it could be something along the lines of like, let's see. Do you, well, if it's on the fly, then it's not as romantic. You okay. have to think about what it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking like, almond, my love, in this jar, my semen you will shove. Uh, please give birth. And uh, you're always worth. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, let me go to my thinking corner, and I'll think of one better for you. Okay, thank you. Just gonna go eat crayons in the corner and come back with a poem. Next room. Is this a bit? I don't know. Is it everything? <laughs> uh, what do you think, Almond, since she's in here? Hi, Rogue Ghost. Yeah, we could go to the next room. Miss went into the corner to put her thinking cap on. That's where the next room is. Ooh. The Lidar zone. Scary. Ooh, what is this? It's like a gun. Can I use it? Yeah. You gotta use it in here. It's a shit. I gotta turn my volume down. This is loud as fuck. Almond would not like that, I reckon, lol. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's this shit.
There's a is this loud? There's a there's a horror game, yeah, called Scanner Somber that is literally this in aesthetic. Crumpet, that thing is dank. What? I'm sorry, I didn't know it was loud. My bad. <laughs> sorry. My bad, Alma. I'm scanning you. I found one. I think of, I thought of one. Okay. I think I found I, a song uh, what are you? Laden. Hello? What? Why are you guys waving your hand around? Because you gotta pick up the scanner, Miz. What's the poem for Alma? Where? Um, Almond. I brought you this jar. Calm and sweet you are. <laughs> Enjoy. That's the poem? Hey, it took a lot of effort. You um, to R and jar. To with almond. Yeah, but try rhyming something, something with okay. almond. Uh, almond. I, I, I came up with calm and. Calm and sweet calm you and. are. Calm and. That's okay. Almond. Almond. What what does rhyme with almond? Almond ba ball ball ballin. <laughs> uh door hinge. Um calm Nothing wind. rhymes with the word wolf. Fuck, almond is hard to rhyme with. Oh my gosh. Wind balding. <laughs> my wife almond. I be balding. <laughs> Bell end. No, that doesn't work really. Mind. It's something that would end in a mind. But are there any words that end in mind? Almond. Hey, you had to my favorite actor is Tom Holland. <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough one. Salmon? No, salmon doesn't work. Almond. See, that this pussy is why poems tastes are like great, salmon. Because <laughs> it showcases that you took a time to think on it. Almond. I'd like to commend. No, it doesn't work. Commend and mend are too different. With a silent D, you can cheat. True. Calm and. That could work. You could just do like anything with that. Almond something something Poland. <laughs> Poland, almond, <laughs> kind of. Stalin. <laughs> My love, I won't rescind. My sweetest nut, almond. I love never a pretend from my sweet almond. I got a job, now I bartend to pay for my love almond. <laughs> I'm crawling in my skin. My almond will not heal. Okay, that's not bad. I think we're getting it. We kind of figured it out. I think we got this. Thanks, Miz. Yippee! What the fuck is I this thing? I don't have a scanner. I want a scanner. Um, There's a scanner at the start, Miz. Just go grab one, bitch. Dumb bitch. Bitch, idiot, so bitch. Stupid bitch. To, uh, don't call me dumb. I, I but bitch is fine. <laughs> okay, sorry. What'd you say, hey? Do you want me to lead you to where the switch is and, like, where this gate is so you don't have to scan everything? And well, there's a gate right here. Why this green? Well, yeah, you gotta flip a switch over here. Oh, oh, no, I, I can do it. I'm not totally stupid. I, I think I can okay, manage. Okay. This shit's easy. Well, I just did, like, for the... I didn't want it to be annoying. Nah, this is fine. I, I'm used like to dealing with way more annoying stuff. Okay. You can press Q and E to make it, like, bigger or smaller to cover more area. Wait, really? We just are... Wait, that's sick. It's just like a dog whistle. It hurts my ears. Just turn your volume down. It is really dank, though. I was fucking up almond with it. Anyone with Which tinnitus? Hey, Tom, if you're here, scanner. turn your robo ear. Well, I already turned it down. But if it was loud, then I'd tell you to turn your robo ears. I found the switch. Yep. Beep boop. Wait, where is it? It's over there. How did I get over here? What the fuck? Uh, God, I Follow me. Really tell. Here. Follow me. I got my. Follow spy. me. Can't I you see? Oh, oh fuck! I dropped the scanner. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, it's fine. Uh, I maybe should go back and get it. I kind of fucked up. I fucked up. I dropped my scanner. Oh, oh. Ah. All the things I'm saying that rhyme with almond are and, mom, and com, and. Oh, fuck. All right. I'll, I'll hold the way up. Here we go. Get down on it. Bam, bam. Get down on it. Bam, bam. Wait, get down on it. Bam, 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 bam. There's more doors. Maybe. And ballman. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm ballin' and bombin'. I'm almond. Where so common. Never common. <laughs> Ooh, nice switch. Scanner. 
Yeah, I just forgot it. I, I lost it somewhere, so I'm just kind of like feeling it out in the void. I got the Artoria yeah, seal. I'm waiting just... for the four kings to show up. Gang bang ready. We'll just go to uh, the next room. Oh, I found something. Oh, I, oh, I clicked it. I, I don't know what happened. It's locked. Fuck. Can you get it's a switch locked. for that? Do you want the switch? I can give you the switch. Give me the switch. Okay, come follow me. I got my spine. I got my orange crush. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> what? There's a switch here. You don't realize song? Orange crush? Oh, I thought you said it's orange crust. Like I thought you were talking about like peeling an orange and eating the crusty remains. Am I that bad at singing? It's not familiar? No, you probably inherited my singing voice. So beautiful? Question mark? Sure. Where's the door? Did you click the switch? Yeah. I hear. Right in front of my face. And then... And then, um... I go this way? Um... Um... um erm... Um... This door, maybe? Erm... Um, I'm, I'm, oh, you just Black knock on that place. door. I'm fucked. So and then you, um... And then you, um... And then you, uh... Way, and then what do you, uh, I do? Okay. We're leaving the light on. So walking. It just keeps going. Oh, it doesn't end. Okay. <laughs> we'll yeah. just take a different direction. My voice is as silky as butter. Is butter silky? I thought butter was, like, kind of mushy and thick. Oh, fuck. I went through the wrong... God damn it. I'm back here. How do you keep going back... I can't stop myself, man. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm cursed to forever travel precarious backwards. Ledge. Ooh. I'm down to go on a little precarious edge. Are you a big fan of edges, Miz? Um. I don't know why that was a tough decision or like a difficult question. She just walked away from me. The dilapidated mansion. This is literally the mansion from that one game. It's, uh, although they changed the way it looks. The infection? Mm hmm the infection you mansion. You the room in that last one. You left too early. Oh, shit. I like these designs. I want more maps like this that are just, like, old houses, apartments, things oh, like that nature. They're really nice. Oh, shit. I remember this. See, this shit's cool as fuck. I remember this, too. They're all oh, fuck! Uh -huh. Instant oh, death, God. like zero, <laughs> zero hesitation, immediately threw myself off a cliff. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it. You mean lethal company? Um, maybe a little. Yeah, I should have a... Dude, that would actually be a kick-ass alert to have the Dark Souls you died thing just pop up, because I fucking throw myself off cliffs all the time. I'm such a clumsy little bitch. Staircase equals lethal company. Oh, golly. Hold on, I have to quickly respond to something important. You look pretty chill. How oh, is it? Jingle bells, jingle bells, stop. I forgot eight is the gooning alert. Well, there's not a lot of goon ability today. Aerie and Mango aren't here, so like, what are you gonna goon to? I mean, gooning to Miz is like, gooning to hate maybe? He's like a duck, I guess. What? Ooh. Oh shit. Here. Club fuel somewhere. Club fuel. Why are they closed? Broadcast is doing the hot chip challenge. Dude's fucked. Rest in peace, I guess. Private Turn room. this down a little bit. Join me in the private room. Fuck, it's locked. Is this a horror map? It's a. It's just a map with a bunch of different rooms. That's all. Like it's just rooms. Well, <laughs> what do those rooms room. do? I couldn't fucking say. Oh, okay, maybe it is the Flesh of the Gods. Maybe it is a little bit of a horror map. Dude, everyone always says, is it the hot chip that sent the kid to the hospital? Is it the one that killed that kid? The kid who died of the hot chip challenge ate like 11 of them. 
Come on, dude. Yeah, you gotta point, feed, feed the At that point, it is not there. I'm not feeding you now. Yeah, yeah, Push me down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut your, shut your. I'm trying! Is that moist sound? Oh, oh my god! Wow, wow Miz! Yes, yes, you have, have one too many, you know, bags oh, of Doritos, now you can't feed oh, the towel out. I wish it did fall in, that'd be cool. Oh, you can. Trumpet, Junbi's playing with the Eldritch Monster again. <sighs> he just can't stop himself from going into Silac pits with many different teeth. Crump chatting. Beep boop 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 boop. Reminds me of a puppet like combo. A Do you even? I, I thought you were like full gay, but you might be like bisexual or shumption. <laughs> Thanks, Vincent. How's he doing <laughs> Is this what a vagina looks like? They keep spitting him out because it tastes so bad. Yeah, probably. That's a lot of teeth. I'd say that's probably like half as many teeth as I think the average vagina has. <laughs> it just doesn't like the taste of Vincent personally. Like every time it, like a tooth touches Vincent, it's like... Oh, I tried to spit him the fuck out. Woo! I learned a fun fact here to do you. What did you learn? Did you know in the original story of Moana, when... Maui, Maui turns into a worm and enters the, the vagina of the, the goddess lady and gets eaten by her, her vagina's obsidian teeth. That's what happens in the original story. Yeah, I believe it, honestly. I think it makes sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> Can we um, go back? I found a cooler room. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir. Go down to the strip club. Mm. <laughs> okay, we're going to a strip club, Laval. Down. Down here. These are all the rooms that we saw before. I, w I wish there was a way to mark off the stuff that you've seen before, because we went to this map a long time ago, and I, I bent all these rooms. Oh my god. <laughs> is it like the VR chat standard to have it always be this particular song? This is like the Goofy song. I remember being here before, and we heard this exact thing. Oh my god, I'm having the worst deja vu. Oh, goldfish. Delightful. Me when I fish. Jesus. Up. All right. Oh, I can't take I it anymore. Yeah, here. I can't fucking take it anymore. <laughs> the back rooms are like the least scary shit in the universe. I cannot believe that this shit is so popular. I'm, uh, I, uh, we have to go somewhere else. I can't take it anymore. I'm done with the exploration. I, I, I can't take it. Door. Don't do that door, no. But what? Why not? But it's your own house. I simply, I cannot. I simply cannot. All right. Oh my god, um, this room reminds me of when I went um, underground mall exploring. You went outside? And you went to an underground abandoned mall? Yeah. That doesn't seem like you at all. Okay, so like the malls are built over, um, previous malls or something. I don't know how they work, but they got underground facilities and it's super cool. Except it's also dangerous depending on how the air is. <laughs> yeah, that could explain yeah, the why, why you are the way that you are. I guess it's entirely possible. Hi, Do you know every fish is named Bob because that's the only thing they know how to say? Do fish say Bob? They go. Isn't there that one fish when they like before they cut it up they feed it a carrot and it goes like that? You see the location of the original images that were found and it's just the back room of a bowling alley before it was fully built. Oh, I have seen that actually. Yeah, that's so weird and creepy. Oh my gosh, like the idea of like stuff like that. Ooh, this looks cool. Looks schemer wants to join me. What the hell? Fish be sucking on my hand. How to stop fishing? Freaky ass fish. You are a walking psychopath. 
It's a little fishing village. This is perfect for all sorts of random eldritch horror. Oh my god, it's so exciting. You know when they're slipping your thumb? I don't when have they go... thumbs. They be making that noise. This, what are they, like babies? You mean what, what noise? Like a, like a... That. Jesus. Jesus, man. The bitches be freaking. For real, for real. How are you doing that? Are you just shaking your head? Ugh. Okay, you can stop. You can stop. Your weird flappy gums do not sound nice. You can stop it. I know how to do that. Stop it! I want to do it. Stop it now! Stop! <laughs> he doesn't understand anything but violence. If I say no, it's just like it doesn't affect him. I have to just punch him in the face until he gets the message. It's fucked up. Yeah. Someone's got to do it though. I need to be punished. Oh Jesus! I right, caramba. Don't hit Jimmy. I'll fucking hit him again. You Try and stop me, like bitch. This. Huh? Oh no! You Please us don't like spank this. me. Oh no! Please don't <laughs> bend me over your knee and spank me. Dude, you are, you are something else. <laughs> you are fucking something else. Jimmy, shut the fuck up. Shut up. That sound sucks. <laughs> shut up. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Thank you. That's the meat. <sighs> Play with your worm more. I won't. I can't take it. I don't want to hear weird mouth noises, bro. I'm like Val. Pinch cheek and pull rapidly. I know how to do it, basically. But I don't know. I had a lot of fun watching Furiosa last night. It was a good time. Sorry, uh, my mood got a little ruined. Because some... of the cheek thing? Oh shit, yeah, I'm sorry, bro. It wasn't just that. I, I got, oh, okay. That wasn't an issue at all. I just got some DMs that were kind of upsetting. <laughs> oh, so frustrating. Oh my god. Oh, I just can't catch a break. I'm sorry. Oh well. <sighs> Took it like a champ and didn't scream like crumpet. So true. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Arr. Stop DMing during stream. I can't fucking help it. People only DM me during stream. Whatever. Oh my God, I'm just so. Arr. Not me. I DM you. At 3 I'm just gonna fucking. Yeah, that's true. You don't DM me at. Three, yeah, you, you DM me at times. I, don't I stream, also don't nice. DM you. I was ever. Fuck. <laughs> You're right, nothing good ever comes from it, but it's people I care about that DM me. It's so fucking frustrating. Oh my god, it just ruins the whole mood of the stream. <sighs> I had like guys for five hours a day where I don't get like fucked. Whatever. I don't know, man. I DM you because you're currently streaming. Thanks, baby doll. Uh, fuck me. <laughs> Did I add her Axie? Is that the new one? <sighs> I'm, I'm done for today. I, I'm so frustrated. Oh my gosh. That's so... Actually just... Oh, it's such a mood killer, man. It's like impossible to stream when you have someone like that. Like just... <sighs> Alright. Well, I'm sorry that the stream has ended early. My sincerest apologies. Once again, I've been... <sighs> fucked utterly. So, sorry, I guess. Gotta, gotta leave. Hopefully it was a fun two hours. Sorry, guys. You get your second stride. Yeah, I just got super upsetting DMs. As per usual, can't do anything without upsetting someone anymore. Um, I'm, I'm gonna log off. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm really sorry for the short stream today. Uh, sincerely, seriously, very sorry. Just have to go take care of some stuff. You know how it is. Maybe one day I'll fucking not have these issues, but we'll see. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.